Hey everybody, welcome to day two of Roll20 Con here at Super Geeked Up. Yeah. 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 All right, Ooh, everybody's excited, very good. All right, uh, hey everybody, yes, this is day two of Roll20 Con. If you don't know what that is, uh, that's a very cool yearly event uh, Roll20 does to raise money for Cyber Smile, uh, a very cool charity that helps victims of cyberbullying. And so we were playing all day long yesterday. Uh, a few of us are back again today with some new people to play some more uh, RPGs again all today. Um, if you would like to donate, which we would uh, really appreciate, that would be awesome. Uh, there is a link right on the homepage of our website where the stream is. Uh, there is, I will also be posting it in the live chat throughout this game and the next game. Uh, after this game is over at 7 p.m. Eastern, we are going to play Fate Core. So if you enjoyed Fate Accelerated, uh, hopefully tune into that. Uh, some, uh, yeah, we had a lot of fun yesterday, like, like we were saying on the pre-show here. A lot of cat theme yesterday. I don't know what the theme will be this today, if anything, but we'll see. Uh, all right. Let me, so this game is called Apocalypse World. Um, this is a very cool post-apocalyptic RPG. Uh, like the other games I GM'd last, yesterday, this is kind of very much a... Uh, improv type game. Not we haven't pre-planned anything. Uh, they have filled out their character sheets, uh, so they have done that just to get that out of the way. But uh, we have no idea what the world's going to be or the story. So we're going to come. We're going to do that like right now, and come up with that, and then uh, we're going to get going here. Uh, let me uh, introduce the people here, and they will just tell you very briefly about the character type. They're called playbooks in the Apocalypse Real Strange, but we'll, I'll just call them like character like classes or types here uh, that they are. All right, let's start with Nate. Nate, Nate, Nate I, and Somnus have played this before. I think it's new to the other people. Uh, this is my first time GMing. So I, as a, a caveat, I guess I will say, uh, hey, if ever the rules aren't totally perfect, it's my first time. And also, I may be uh, doing a slight adaptation of some of the things that I think makes more sense. Um, <laughs> but you know, we're just going to have fun. Uh, and Somnus has GMed it, so he can uh, kind of help us out as well. All right, so uh, here we go. Nate, why don't you tell what, kind of, what character you are? Again, just briefly, we'll do it quick. Okay. Uh, essentially, I am playing Grim the Brainer, and in Apocalypse World, Brainers essentially have had their brain cracked wide open to the psychic energies that are now perforating the world around them and can do crazy, cool, and sometimes weird stuff. All right. Oh, good. That was very brief. Thank you. Sorry. I was in the chat. <laughs> um, I think people are already in the live chat. Full shot. Uh, Lister's mate, Necrodius. Chris Hadley. Thank you, guys. Uh, most of those guys were there yesterday, too. Some of those guys were in all three games, which is amazing, because we were, like, streaming over 10 hours uh, last night. Um, so, anyway, all right, there's the Brainer. Uh, let's see who's up. Uh, Trip. Sure. Uh, so I'm playing a character called the Gun Lugger, and that means that I'm a guy all about guns. Um, and my name is Boom, and my tagline is, Here comes the boom, followed by explosions. <laughs> So, um, uh, basically my idea, and I haven't talked to Jeff about this, but, uh, my right arm has been blown off in a previous explosion and, uh, I have replaced my arm with a boom arm, which is a combination shotgun and grenade launcher. And I also carry an oversized baseball bat on my back. Um, and my armor is comprised of like a giant manhole cover on my chest and spiked uh, shoulder pads, rubber knee tire pads for my knees, and uh, also uh, giant headphones that uh, go over my ears that I smack on my head and they clamp down to protect my ears from giant explosions. <laughs> and uh, fighting against the boom is like battling a small gang. I'm basically a formidable bit, formidable man not to be fucked with. So right. boom! <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, very nice. That was great. Uh, OK, let's go over to Craig. <laughs> I'm following that. Okay. Um, <laughs> my character is called Johnny. He is the class, uh, the quarantine. Um, fortunately, I don't know the setting very well. So, other than he's pretty good in combat, I think. Um, I can't really tell you much about him, so I don't know either. <laughs> All right. Well, I think this is the first time uh, we've had a quarantine. Uh, 
But yeah. from what I read, uh, quarantine, uh, you basically, the idea is that you were in cryogenic sleep, right, for the past 50 years, I think is what it said. Yeah. Uh, and it oh, seemed like you were kind right. of a soldier or something, I think, right? Yeah. I think so, yeah. But you so, don't really remember m almost anything, right, of what's happening? No. Okay. Welcome to Half-Life. Sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, by the way, in this world, guys, the idea is no, no matter what kind of setting we pick here, uh, some kind of apocalypse happened, but nobody really knows how it happened. Um, although the quarantine, I actually think, does have, might know, but he doesn't remember. Um, but anybody else has no idea how it happened. We're just here, and that, and the world's kind of gone to shit. Uh, so, all right. So let's go over to Rob. Hey, I'm playing Cash, and he is a show, the show. And uh, the description is that it's like the ancient prophet said, you are the show. If you don't make the gig, the gig is fucking nowhere. And uh, I basically look like Johnny Cash. I wear all black. I have a long black duster with armor plates sewn on underside of it so people can't tell that I'm armored. Uh, I like to fight. I'm rowdy. And I have a short fuse. <laughs> oh, all right. Nice. Well, you'll be a, you'll you'll get along with everybody really well. Uh, yeah. Oh, and actually, there's uh, I I picked some things because it says uh, I pick stuff when I perform. Weird things happen. So <laughs> uh, when I play the ancient death satellites that still orbit the Earth, stir in their sleep, and also when I play, water freezes in my skin and instrument frost over. Wow. Oh, wow, that's really cool. Okay. Nice. nice. Uh, all right, so uh, by the way, in the chat, uh, Necrodia says, and he's kind of referencing a thing in our Dungeons and Dragons stream, the frying pan became sentient and attacked the world. That's how the apocalypse happened. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> All right, let's go over to Somnus. Uh, I am playing the Faceless. Uh, and the Faceless is uh, someone who probably lost it a little bit out there. <laughs> Uh, they basically are wearing a mask of some. Uh, the sound is scary. Is killing me. Sam, Sam, this you're going in and out. Unfortunately, <laughs> we're losing you. Um, gotcha. So uh, in here is a little <laughs> tenuous. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, okay. Hmm? Try turning your video off, Sam. This maybe that might help. You never know. But Nate, hey, Nate, can you explain the faceless? Oh. <laughs> well, for anyone curious, uh, if you've been introduced to Borderlands 2 at all, a perfect representation would be Krieg. <laughs> a crazy yes. psycho. Essentially, uh, someone who's definitely not right in the head and seeks to take their <laughs> newfound frustrations out on other people's faces. <laughs> Very nice. The picture I saw of the faceless right. reminded cool. me of, uh, oh sorry, saying the picture I saw on the uh, of the faceless reminded me a bit of the jackal from Thirteen Ghosts with the the cage around his face. Ah, uh, cool okay. though. Yeah. Yeah. All right, cool. That's everybody, right? Yeah, we got everybody. Okay, great, good. All right, so, uh, all right, so anyway, this, uh, what do you, so remind me here, guys, or Nate or Steve, this, when you when we roll all this stuff, it's rolling, what is it rolling, 2D6s? Yes, 2D6, and then plus whatever the modifier is. Right, right. And they have, so there's, uh, well, more or less five stat type things that uh, people are rolling off of, uh, which are, what are they? Uh, I'm trying to get a sheet up here real fast. So cool, hard, hot, sharp, and weird. Uh, we'll, we'll explain kind of more of that as we get into it. Uh, but they're, they kind of, uh, depending on the situation, you know, they'll be rolling different things. Um, and there's also something called HX, which is kind of like their relationships with each other and their history, which we're going to figure out in a little bit here. Because they actually have, you know, if you all have your character sheets there, there are questions you're going to have to ask each of the other players here at some when we get to that point. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, and those questions are something usually that they've, oh, yeah. uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> very interesting. Um, all right. Dates are going to get a little awkward. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, <laughs> this is also, I don't know if this is, oh wait, are you, oh, you guys are all playing guys, right? I believe so. All my, all my yeah. characters, just so I know. 
I don't know. We can check. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So let's let's figure out first. Let's kind of figure out what kind of a. Uh, we're, I mean, this is something everybody, like all you guys together can discuss and we'll come up with a consensus. Uh, so what kind of a world might this be? And i give you some, obviously there's the kind of maybe the more traditional Mad Max-esque post-apocalyptic thing. Nate and Somnus did one where it was like a water world thing. Uh, <laughs> oh, I did. I played with these guys one uh, recently and we did like a Old West type thing with robots were involved as well. Um, hmm. So a lot you can do a, a lot of different things. In other words, you know, um, any ideas for what this kind of world looks like? Hmm. I'm just throwing the ideas I'm out a there. Fan of the <laughs> traditional desert world or desert wasteland. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah, I'm. I'm just throwing this out there as a possibility, but it, it could be an apocalypse where aliens have actually invaded Earth. Oh, and we're the remnants wow. of mankind. I'm down with that. Oh, like the, the aliens invaded, took resources, left, and now we're left in what's, you know, the. It could be that, left. or there could still be an alien presence that nobody dare goes towards, but, you know, it could pop up. <laughs> they could still have, like, a station based here to still <laughs> dig out all the resources from the Earth. Maybe that maybe they're digging to the center of the earth, and eventually the earth will be destroyed. I hope not. <laughs> Just an so idea. Like a central place that no goes, like the quarry or something. Nobody goes there. Could be. I'm very sorry, guys. I need to reboot my computer. I will be right back. Bro, no no problem. Yeah, I, we're, still, we're, still, we're talking intro stuff, so it's all good. And I'm 100 percent behind the alien invasion. Okay. All right. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's just an idea. But yeah, it could so, be still warring factions of survivors. But yeah, like uh, Craig said, giant quarry that nobody goes towards with <laughs> clearly high technology. Anybody that approaches seems to disappear. Mm. Okay, also, by the way, in the chat, let me just share. Because by the way, if you're in the chat, folks, these are great. This is a great game to be participating in and giving ideas and character yeah, names later on. Uh, Necrodia says, grown over jungle world. Uh, Faux Shot says, ooh, to that. I guess he likes that. That's cool. Okay. Uh, that has possibilities. Yeah. So we've got kind of traditional desert world. We've got jungle world. We've got aliens have. T now, yeah. the, the idea was the aliens have taken over, and it's. And. Well, I, I think the idea is that the aliens came in, basically destroyed most of mankind. They've left but there's they still have a base there that's just taking over you know taking out all the resources uh, but the remnants of mankind are left here on earth battling it out for whatever small resources can still be found okay a oh, full shot in the chat also says oh yeah I like hollowing out the earth for stuff in the core I like that he liked that idea hmm so how does, uh, all right, well, so what do you, I mean, I think that's actually a pretty cool idea. Uh, what do you guys think about the alien thing? I mean, I completely yeah, agree. It can fun. fit into any setting, you know, whether it's a jungle world now because of weird terramorphing yeah. or a desert world because of the resources being mined. Yeah, so how are you guys? All right, so let's go with that. Let's go with the alien idea. That's really cool. Um, okay. So do you guys, let me just, I'm just going to make some notes here as we do this. Uh, so what? Yeah. So how do you? How is the world like looking right now? What do you think then? Since the aliens have have done this, hmm. well, it could be it could be jungle, but as you get closer to the quarry, it's kind of desert wasteland. The heat from the machines and everything that they use, the pollution, you know, that kind of stuff. Maybe the the heat from the machines has heated up the world overall, and it's kind of become jungle most of the places. Uh, but at the same time, like it's just too hot and too nasty. The closer you get to the uh, the actual drill or dig site, uh, that it's just kind of blasted, you know, desert wasteland out there. Yeah, yeah. I, I like the idea of it being like a, a major greenhouse effect, like <laughs> maybe the beginnings stepping towards Venus, you know, where everything is just like stifling hot overgrown potential for major storms you know similar to kind of mad max where it's sort of like uh weather run amok 
Okay, great. This is all great stuff. Uh, by the way, uh, in the chat, Nicodius says about Somnus, that, that, that was exactly what he was saying in the chat as well. That, yeah, the aliens came and mined the stuff, giant quarry, but everything else is overgrown. So very cool. You guys are on the same page as the chat. Do we want there to be a chance of weird mutated creatures now? <laughs> would, would, would we want anything that's... Uh, or maybe, maybe even the aliens have brought stuff here from other planets? Maybe some pets have escaped and now they're, you know, <laughs> like going out in the world. Or maybe the aliens think it's funny. I mean, we have no idea. You know? uh, there's, those, there's those spike hounds from Predators. Just these massive hounds with spikes coming out of everywhere and just massive jaws. Spike hounds? Sure, I like the yeah. idea of that. I can't remember. I don't know if they have an actual name, but that's kind of just how they look. All right. All so right. we're saying there may there may be some mutated creatures or humans. Yeah, or they may even be creatures from another world that the aliens have just released on the planet yeah. for fun. <laughs> Damn alien! Yeah, what, what? Okay, great. Yeah, this is really awesome. What what the quarries? What were is that when they were digging into the earth, the core? Is that what that when you went with the quarries? Is I think that's what, that what we affectionately dubbed it, but it's nothing like a quarry we're used to here on Earth. I'm kind of thinking it's a quarry the size of New York City. <laughs> and it's just like this area that's as big as a gigantic city that you know, like uh, like Somnus was mentioning that it's just like pollution and everything else is just pouring out of this entire city nonstop because they're digging to the core and just gutting the planet. Okay, so this, this huge area uh, is basically where they're doing the drilling, right? Is what you're saying? Right. Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. All right, and it's really, it's, it's so your geo is like the size of a city. I think so, yeah. All right. Kind of thinking the aliens aren't concerned about, you know, Preserving humans or anything else on this us. planet. They're just going to take everything they can out of the planet. Eventually, it'll be dead. <laughs> like locusts. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Like Independence Day. <laughs> yeah. All right. Very cool. Uh, cool. Rob, I see Rob is back. He has a nice purple uh, tint to his thing. Now it's very, very soothing. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I tried to patch my webcam drivers, and they're not happy. Whoops. All right. So anyway, Rob, as you're going, just to fill you in. So yeah, we are going over the alien thing. Aliens have taken over. Uh, they've been drilling into the earth. They have this huge, like, what's called a quarry. It's like the size of a city where they do their drilling. Um, most of the aliens have left, but these there's still a few around doing this. There's only there's not too many humans left, but there's a few left kind of as a resistance. Uh, besides the area around the quarry, most of the kind of world is this overgrown jungle, and uh, there's also could be kind of crazy weather, major storms, that kind of deal. And there might be some mutated creatures or humans, or the aliens might have brought their own creatures <laughs> as well. Awesome. Yeah, definite holiday resort. Oh yeah, I, Who, I'm wondering here. I'm wondering what other kinds of factions there might be, like, of the remnants of mankind. Oh, great idea. Because I don't know, you know, we may end up encountering aliens, or we may never actually encounter them, you know? Yeah, so that's right. There so may, what do you there think? Will be, there will be factions around certain resources in that area, so some, if they've got access to water, they'll be trading water with other factions if they have resources, metal, or... How about this? How about, why don't we yeah. come up with maybe a name for a couple of factions or something and what they do or what they're known for? <laughs> or let's ask, mm. we'll do the name later. Like, give me maybe, what could be one faction? Yeah. Like, what? How about the Water Weavers? And they're the people who have, like, water. They control right, water. Great name. Love it. Water Weavers, and they control the water, right? Yeah. At least like the water that's actually can be drinkable. Yeah, they, they are people who either can produce yeah. or control sources. So okay. th this is just an idea. What if it's like, well, the Amazon like popped into my mind, you know, like what if the Amazon is now just like a little trickle of small lakes left <laughs> over? 
But then I was like, I, you know, I don't know where in the world we want to be located. It could even basically be like the Mississippi River, but now it's just like a collection of these small lakes. But I'm wondering if the water weavers are like a fierce tribe of females like the Amazonians. <laughs> Hey, well, you do. I, you know, I like yeah. that, man. I like any kind of awesome kick-ass. Yeah. Uh, what do you guys think? What? <laughs> I'm okay with sure. this. this. <laughs> Could they be like right. a- a- Amazonian warriors called yeah. the, we- the water weavers? Hell yeah. yeah. All right. Uh, okay, and awesome. So like I think there'll be some kind of... Uh, I kind of think there'll be some kind of miners or something who'll be um, creating new weapons, and, uh, maybe scavengers that head towards uh, like where some of the cities used to be. Oh man, what about a faction called like the Prospectors that were basically humans put to slave work for the aliens to do a lot of uh, physical labor and still managed to survive the process? Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, so they were slaves of the aliens to help do the mining, right? <laughs> yes. Now, are they? Are you saying these prospector groups though? Are they like not slaves anymore? They've kind of escaped or something, or or they still are? Essentially, slaves? I mean, the the process is probably pretty much automated uh, now since you know the, the takeover and they've set themselves up fairly nicely. Uh, the aliens, that is. Uh, so that way, you know, they aren't, their presence isn't needed as much. Um, okay. So you, would you say these prospectors probably then, like, really, really hate the aliens and want revenge? Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Awesome. Uh, now, Craig, what were you saying? Like, a, some kind of group that goes around and, like, what scavenges and, like, scavenges. Whatever things they can be, find? Whatever's left of the cities in the area, there'll be... There may be some factions there, but there will be some that are scavenging around. If the if the city's not worth staying in, then it'll be just looted by scavenger groups. Okay. Can we? What's the name for this? These scavenger people. Forerunner. What do, how do people refer to them as? What was that? Forerunner. Runner? Did you say? Forerunner. Forerunners. Okay. Sure. As in Halo Forerunners. But. All right, I'm not familiar with Halo too much, but okay, I like that work. Now, uh, so are the, these scavenger dudes, these Forerunners? Uh, how do other people do? Other people look down at them? Do they think they're kind of like pieces of shit, or like are they fine with them? Or I would think they're they looting. look. So I'm kind of imagining they're stealing from other people, right? Yeah, the looting. What were you saying, Samus? Yeah. Lead this Rob. Curve. I didn't say anything. Right. Okay. <laughs> I probably think that right, cool. people don't like them because of what they do, but they're a necessary evil. Gotcha. Because no one else is going to go in there. Okay, great. Uh, in the chat, listeners made ask Are there still any remnants of any books, magazines, signs, that kind of deal? Printed materials, I guess is what he's going for. What do you guys think? I'm sure there would be. There's probably whole ruined cities oh, and yeah. stuff lying yeah, around. Maybe. Okay, cool. Yeah, absolutely. All right, awesome. This is all really good stuff. All right, so we got water weavers, prospectors, forerunners. Um, are all are all the aliens? considered like bad evil or any aliens disagreeing with the main alien leaders and helping the humans mm-hmm. from what i've gathered i would say that they're probably uh about sorry like rob you have to you want to take the plus no, out, of, so, out of any of your roles oh okay sorry oh yeah, yeah. so it doesn't automatically just, fail <laughs> just yeah just so you always don't fail your roles that would suck do you? How do you do a minus in your stat? You do put you do put the minus symbol in front, but you don't put ah. the plus in on the character sheet. I know it's a little weird, but sorry, uh, Nate, what were you saying? Oh, um, well, I, I get the feeling that uh, they're pretty cruel and uncaring. Though I feel as if they just view us as. 
tools, you know, and resources to be gathered as opposed to sentient beings, you know, uh, much like some people view cattle as be, just a food source. Yeah, there may be some, but we don't see them. We have no idea right. about it. As far so, as we're concerned, they're all monsters. Right. So if you say for the most part, yeah, they, they kind of just look at you as like almost like bugs or rats or whatever, right? They're not, you're not yeah. really worth Unworthy of attention. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, cool. Uh, so, what? I guess what? What are? So you guys, then, do you have a certain like objective or goal right now? There's something you're trying to accomplish. Are you trying to take down the aliens? Are you fighting? Are you one of these factions? You're fighting another one, or like, or is there something? Personal, I don't know. Like, what are you guys trying to do? I got, we have to try to make it obviously something everybody can, the group can participate in together. But yeah, <laughs> trying I mean, to survive. I, sure. <laughs> I mean, I think well, trying recently, to survive. I've, yes, absolutely. Yeah, and I've been a mercenary bodyguard for hire recently. Uh, maybe some of the questions will help. You know, determine relationships that I have with people. Absolutely. I don't know if I've been somebody's bodyguard that's here. You know. Oh yeah, that certainly could be the case. Yeah. All right. Well, then, I don't know. Does any, it doesn't have to be everybody. Does any of your? Do you think any of your characters has a certain, outside of of course just surviving, which uh, obviously a lot of people in this world, I'm sure everybody is trying to do, um, a certain goal in mind or a certain thing you're trying to do? Hmm. Well, from what little Grim can remember, he does recall experiments being performed on him, which could explain the latent psychic ability. So if, and it's obviously driving him nuts. So he wants to see if he can reverse this process at some point. Okay, sorry. So you think you may, the aliens may have experimented on you? <laughs> he could very well have just been given psychic capabilities out of nowhere, but he thinks it was the aliens. He remembers the probe. <laughs> <laughs> so sad yeah <laughs> all right so you've been a, and trip's been a bodyguard his character uh, i've been a bodyguard and i just want to blow people up okay what uh cash have you just been like have you been playing music like what have you been doing i i want to play a show so big that those uh, those ancient death satellites not only stir but wake up and rain death upon everyone <laughs> indiscriminately oh so you know not even the not only the aliens but it's okay if they rain death on humans too hey you know it's all about the show <laughs> <laughs> okay he's taking death metal to a new level <laughs> ah, nice um all right so let's see here uh and then faceless but the psalm is playing what uh i'm afraid to ask but what, what's been going on with you <laughs> He wants more bottle caps. <laughs> Great. Um, Bottles, booze. And then the quarantine. So, Craig, what do you? What's? Um, what do you think you've been up to? I think he just wants. He wants to remember exactly who he is and why he woke up where he did and who the hell the other people. Um, he knows they're colleagues of some sort, but he doesn't actually know who they are or why they're there. He, he wants right. answers, I think. More than makes sure. sense, absolutely. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, all right, cool. Uh, in the chat, Chris Halley says, if you don't ha have what it takes to go, you don't have what it takes to make it to the show. All right, there you go. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah, please keep uh, chatting there, folks, in the uh, live chat. And again, I'm going to post right now in the chat the link to where you can donate directly to CyberSmile. That's the charity uh, we are doing Roll20 Con for, which helps victims with cyberbullying. Anything you can give is a huge help. Thank you very much. Uh, and thank you for being here. All right. So, anything else, you guys? Other ideas you want to add, or before we go into the character stuff? I'm just, I'm just thinking after we, we have character discussion, then, you know, we can decide if something immediate just went down, you know? Mm -hmm. Great idea. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's do this. So each character, if you have, you have your character sheets there, 
there's certain questions uh, I'm going to rely on you guys just because I don't have them all open in front of me uh, to ask. Now, I think sometimes you can ask all of them. Sometimes you can ask some if you want. It depends. Uh, but feel free to do all if you want. They're usually pretty fun and ridiculous. Um, so let's start with Nate. Uh, he's going to ask a question, and then you guys are going to kind of decide which of you fall into this category. And that's going to affect usually either a plus one or a minus one on your HX, which is your relationship with his character, like, and obviously the, the pluses in the relationships means like you have, I guess, generally a stronger one. The minuses are more like, uh, you guys don't probably like each other too much or don't trust each other is kind of usually how it goes. Um, and that can uh, actually help you though, gain experience if you get to certain levels of uh, history with each other. Uh, also remind me guys, after we do this, we got to highlight stats as well, of course. Um, all right, so Nate, what's your qu first question for the uh, brainer? <laughs> Well, Grim the Brainer, after uh, working at a steel mill for nearly 40 some odd years, being abduct abducted by aliens, giving psychic potential, and being thrust out into this world with a whole bunch of kooks and crazies that he's now attempting to survive with, which one of you has slept in his presence knowingly or not? <laughs> Sorry, I remember these questions. These are so great. <laughs> All right, so which one of you... Yeah, has slept in his presence. Maybe, maybe you don't even know he was watching. Maybe he did. Yeah, he's a pretty odd fellow now. <laughs> Not that he wasn't. Okay, don't, don't worry about it if you didn't think this would have happened before. Just somebody just volunteer, and it makes for kind of funny or cool stories. <laughs> All right, somebody. Uh, say anybody? Me, I was in, okay. I was in quarantine sleep, so. Oh. Me. So uh, maybe you were watching him when he was in the cryogenics. Yeah, you found him there. That's a uh, very interesting. Can make sense. Yeah. Okay. Does that mean does he add one to his HX or do you? What happens? Uh, I uh, basically I wrote up my history with that character okay. and then yeah it goes yeah. around like that. All right. Um, what's, your, what's your next question? Do I need to? Do I need to? You write don't need to do it. Craig or... doesn't need to do anything, right? Just no, you, they they don't need to write shit. Uh, yeah, you don't need to do anything right now, Craig. You're fine. Okay. So. Uh, oh, you you want to make, make a note of that to yourself, Craig? You can make a note to yourself. <laughs> yes. Um. So, as all of this has transpired. Which one of you sly, sneaky, conniving sneaks <laughs> have I been watching carefully in secret? Okay, so we are, which of you has he been secretly watching? I don't even, so I'm trying to think, let's, okay, I think we're losing the other players. Trip, are you still there? Nope, we just lost on this. Rob, are you still there? I am. Uh, I was actually just reading mine. Apparently, before we start handing out HX, I'm supposed to pick who holds my leash. Oh. oh. Yes. <laughs> because it's like, yeah, somebody is my boss or manager. Uh, let's go with um, who is the, the sleeper? The quarantine. The quarantine. The quarantine. Okay, so Craig, you're, you hold uh, the show's leash. So how are you guys interpreting that, that he's kind of like, he's in charge of you, basically? I think that my character is, like, secretly obsessed with Johnny Cash and all that stuff, and he probably found some books and albums. So being this guy's a quarantine from that time, he's probably like, oh, man, you can tell me everything I need to know. So he, I'm probably, like, almost sycophantic. Because you think he knows a lot about Johnny Cash, basically? Yeah, or that era, right? Like, he's yeah. the closest thing I can get to, like, right. a, a line or info on that era. Okay, you got that, Craig? Yeah. Okay. Um, I've got uh, right. the hold leash. Cool. Uh, Rob, is that, is that the only thing, Rob, or we got to do something else for your character? Uh, that's just it, but sorry, what's Craig's character's name? Johnny. Johnny. Right. All right, well, there we go. There's another reason for it. He hears that train coming. <laughs> what's your yeah. character called? Cash. His name is Cash. Yeah, his name is Cash. It's like Johnny okay, Cash. I hope. Cash is. All right, I see. Other, oh. I see. Guys are coming back in. Trip and yeah. uh, Sadness. Thomas, are you back? Oh, they're coming back in a second. All right, yeah, uh, you I'm got back. I, like I said, the the, the next connection here is shaky. Yeah, sure. Uh, Nate, what's your next question? <laughs> If you want to ask it. Well, I don't think we answered the first one, did we? Or the second one. Oh, shit, you're right. We got to we got to try <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Well, the we, second question is, wanna... who, has been, who have you been secretly watching, right? Yes. Um, also, do we want to wait for Trip to come back? 
Well, let's keep going because uh, okay. he hasn't had any problems so far. I don't know. What do you think? Uh, so, Cash, maybe has he been watching I you? I want him to openly watch me. <laughs> okay. I'm the show. I, I, I would do everything in my power to get him to watch me. <laughs> All right. So, he, you're, you've been watching him, but he doesn't know it yet. So, you've been watching him. so I'm okay. still trying to get it. Well, maybe. I don't know. Wait. It could be, op- it could be open or. No, it's no, no, no. Right. It's yeah. basically grim. Doesn't hit, like to admit it, but he enjoys Cash's shows. But he'll never say it in public or in front of anybody else in the group. That's why right. he's been carefully watching him in secret. Okay, very good. All right, that covers your questions, Perfect. right? Oh, there's uh, one more. Oh, one more? Okay, great. Go for it. Uh, which one of you mongoloids most evidently dislikes and distrusts Grimm? Okay. Trip, Trip, does your character distrust the, uh, Nate's character, maybe? Like blatantly. Uh, you know, I'm willing to go that way. I'm sorry I dropped out. My computer was overheating, and I'm back in the bathroom. <laughs> so, uh, Welcome back. Yeah, huh? yeah. So, um, you know, I mean, that, that's certainly a possibility, just that I, I, I don't trust uh, anybody that, that messes around in somebody's brain, that sort of sure, thing. Okay. Yeah, yeah, let's I, go with that. I just don't like... Like the idea. All right, and, that's great. Uh, Love it. All right, all right, folks. So if you're watching, if you just join us, we're playing Apocalypse World. Uh, we're we just we kind of just created the world where aliens had uh, kind of taken over, and most of the world's a jungle except for this like big kind of quarry area where they're drilling into the Earth's resources, and water is very scarce. Uh, these guys are one of the few humans around and we're doing this uh, there's certain questions the game does for each character where they determine their history with each other So that covers the Nate's character, right? Yep. Okay, that's the brainer. So do I put a do I put a negative or something? No, with my you, relationship you, only, with you only do it when it's your own questions Okay, gotcha. So why don't you go when we go to the gun luggers questions. What's your first All right, question? That's fine. All right Which one of you left me bleeding and did nothing for me? <laughs> all right yeah so anybody who is you know somebody what? uh i'll go ahead and say grim totally did that oh which is probably why he distrusts you as well <laughs> yes. right absolutely <laughs> so, what a little bastard uh so so you saw me get blown up when my arm thing happened and i had to get it replaced and, I, and the last thing i remember is seeing you like looking over me and turning the other way and walking away. He's like, ah, he's dead. <laughs> okay. All right, so, what's your next uh, question? All right. And, uh, I'm sorry. Let's see. Um, uh, by the way, sorry, in the chat, Sir Lucian, uh, who actually will probably be playing with us later today in Fate Course, is going to be an interesting for this group. Oh, it's yep. always going to be interesting in this world, yeah. Definitely. Uh, so which one of you has fought so shoulder to shoulder with me? Oh, that'd be Johnny. He likes to fight. Johnny. Okay, great. Oh, so quarantine? Okay, yeah. So Craig, that's you, right? All right. Yep. So, so with show the soldier with a boom. All right. And then uh, which one of you is prettiest? Uh, Johnny and boom and the boom. Which one? Okay, which one? <laughs> Which one of you is Which the one of you is prettiest? Okay, who's the best looking here? Uh, I guess probably me as well. Being Cash. The, the, you know. <laughs> Cash. All right. Michelle. You now, wait, sure so, are a pretty man. I am. <laughs> okay, now, by the way, Rob, were you saying you also were the one who fought along him? Uh, I did, but uh, I don't mean to hog. You can only answer one, right? No, you can have more than one. Sorry, but you, you said Johnny, so I thought that was Craig. Because remember, Craig yeah, is Johnny. Yeah, right, you're sorry, Cash. Oh, that's what I was thinking too with Johnny, but that that was Cash. Yeah, but uh, I mean, yeah. no, you can have both. You can totally have both. Uh, so never mind, Craig. You're uh, you don't have anything with a gun lugger right now. Okay, so just with Cash, I, I, I have a a long relationship, or at least lived out relationship with Cash. And, All right. Uh, yeah. So you fall alongside each other, and you think he's really good. Like, and 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 uh, I'm behind b- behind some rock in a desperate situation, I took a look at him. I was like, "Damn, that's a fine looking man." <laughs> All right. Cool. Uh, All right. Do you want to? Is that it for you, or do you? That's it. <laughs> All right. Great. 
Uh, quarantine, uh, Johnny, what's your questions? Uh, I'm trying to think. Are these the um, yeah, it should be under H ones for me? No, they should. Be. Okay, look, I'll go somebody else. Look at your sheet. What What is it called, guys? Is it under HX? Is that what it says on the sheets? Uh, under HX. Um... All right. So, uh, Sam, this, you're really breaking up. I'm sorry. We may not be able to continue, unfortunately, um, which but we'll see how, how it goes here. Uh, 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 oh, sorry. okay. I got it. You found it? Okay, great. What's your first question then? Yeah. Um, which of you did I meet first when I emerged from stasis? Oh, well, hey, Nate, uh, since you think maybe that goes for you since you were watching him? I, I could definitely say that Grim probably <laughs> scrounged him out of the pod. <laughs> okay, so you met Grim first. Oh, um, Grim, oh, yeah. Looking into the pod and being like, hmm, he sure <laughs> is pretty. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> now, for the HX, you, there's not there's not like a stat thing for it. You just gotta like kind of put notes under HX for it, like plus one or minus one or whatever it is. You have another question, yeah. or is that it for the quarantine? Um, some some no, of them only have one. That's... Yeah, that's the question. Okay. All right, so let's go over to Cash. Uh, again, mine's weird in that it says. Uh, on my turn, whoever holds your re leash, write HX plus two and leave everyone else blank for now. Uh, and then at the end of HX, I just copy the HX over from quarantine, from the leash holder to mine. So we have, because like whoever they know, I know. Mm. Okay, so you write plus oh. two for quarantine and your cash is that what you said? Yeah, yeah. And then uh, uh, quarantine, what, what, what's your HXs? You have one? You have plus one with uh, Grim, right? Uh... Mine says uh, plus one. Oh, I'm on the wrong sheet. <laughs> one right. asked about um, mine says you it's first. plus. Yeah, it's plus one for um, whoever uh, I met when I first emerged, which is Grim. For okay. everyone else, write minus two. Oh, <laughs> damn! I'm not. I'm not here, here and I don't understand. Plus one for Grim and minus two for everybody else. Yeah. <laughs> Which is weird all by itself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, okay, so uh, faceless questions. All right. So, which one of you helped me do something terrible? <laughs> I don't mind doing that. I blew shit up. I had a feeling that would be the case. Yeah. You said, hey, look at those people. Don't they look like they'd be better if they were blown up? And I said, yeah, and I blew them up. <laughs> okay. Now they're all faceless like you. <laughs> all right. Okay. Uh, you have, you have ask your next question. I'll be back in one second. And so the the uh, the next one. Which one of you was once kind and unafraid towards me? I gave you free tickets to my show. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Okay. So that's cash. Let's see here. All right. And All right, which so one what, of you? What was that one that I just missed? Uh, which one? Of, which one of them was once kind and unafraid towards me? And who was and that? That was Cash. Oh, very nice. Joe. Uh, and then, which one of you do I think is pretty? <laughs> not not who's the prettiest. Which one do I think is pretty? <laughs> Maybe me. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah, let's, go with that. let's go with Boom. I'm pretty destructive. <laughs> well, Boom, I've already got Boom on the list as, as you know, he did something horrible with me. <laughs> we, what about uh, the same person? Credit. Oh, this will be a great feud. Uh, they both are think the same person is very pretty. 
<laughs> since the gun logger has a similar question. Oh, so the gun logger thinks cash is pretty, right? Oh, well, then maybe somebody else should have done something nice for him. Well, no, no. Let's just do this. Let's just, right. we, we, we should get started. Let's keep everything the same. Yeah, okay. Just mark uh, Thank you, though. I'm uh, so pretty. It's not, it's just, right. just, well, just, you got the gun logger for both. That's fine. We'll leave, we'll leave it at that, and then uh, I get plus zero for everybody else. Okay. I'm glad you know harbor uh, no ill will yet towards All right. us. So yeah, guys, just you guys, like obviously, I don't, uh, I won't be able to remember everything that we just went over there. I'm sure, but so you guys can just keep track of that yourselves, of course, and kind of come to play. Um, all right, cool. Uh, all right, so great. That's all the Ajaxes, right? We covered them all. Yep. Awesome. All right. Uh, okay. So, oh, in the chat, by the way, Necrody says, I am the prettiest. Well, of course you are. Uh, absolutely. <laughs> Her name is Brick, and she is the prettiest. <laughs> All right. So, uh, let's, uh, let's, well, does that, okay, I guess, let's highlight some stats, right? Um, and how this works is, out of these stats, the ones that are highlighted, every time they uh, do a roll, you mark experience. Um, and when they get, what is it? One, two, six experience, it looks like. Or Once five, you mark the fifth thing. box. Yeah. The fifth box, then you can uh, get an extra something cool, basically. Your stack go up or you get a new class move, something like that. It, there's a bunch of options for each character. Yeah. Um, all right. So uh, the way it works is whoever, like, let's start with you, Nate. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> it's whoever has the... Whoever your HX is the highest with, right? They get to choose highlight one. Yep, that would have to be Trip because he hates me the most. <laughs> <laughs> so Trip, you get to highlight one of his cool, hard, hot, sharp, or weird stats. You get, I mean, you get, if you want, ideally, you want to, you know, do things. <laughs> well, it's up to you. When we played before, we tried to highlight ones that actually would help the person. That's fine. You're. you're I'm sorry. I should probably control my language, right? All right. No, no, no I don't care. Go. I was swearing yesterday. That's you're fine. freaking <laughs> weird. <laughs> weird. Weirdo. All weird. right. So highlight weird. Uh, I, as the GM, I highlight the other one. Uh, oh, I don't actually know what the fuck helps the brain or what. Uh, <laughs> you could do uh, cool. Sharp. If you're sharp help. No, cool is better. Yeah, for doing stuff under fire. All right, yeah. All right, we'll highlight cool, sure. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. All right, let's go to the gun lugger. Who has the best HX with you? Uh, I think Cash. Okay, so he's a gun lugger, Cash. you got to highlight one of his stats. So that means he's really good at shooting shit and blowing it up. Uh, is that cool related? <laughs> you could mark that. The primary for that is hard. The primary yeah. is not hard for that. I think he's hard. <laughs> You're pretty. <laughs> Ooh, I, I can be hot. I'm okay with that. <laughs> All right. So hard for that. So uh, Trip, would you say is he better under fire, or is he good at like reading situations? I'm not good at reading situations. All right. So I'll, I'll mark cool for you then, as well. Yeah. All right. Uh, quarantine. Who has the best HX with you? Or who's your highest HX? Um. The only one that has a plus is Grim. Okay, Grim. Uh, he is a quarantine. I don't. Well, actually, I do have an idea what that means. So we're gonna highlight for that. <laughs> um, my highest. Well, wait. Let go ahead, Nate. Oh, sorry. Um, uh, I'll go ahead and let uh, Craig speak because I'm curious about what stats he picked. Sure. Mine. Uh, my highest is cool. Um, two, and then hard and sharp. Okay. Okay. Um. I feel like cool would probably be good for him since he's out for answers, and uh, that requires being under the firing line a good bit. All right. Uh, I'm, I'm going to highlight uh, sharp for you then, Craig. Uh, cool. Okay. <laughs> no, no, that's no what sharp. I picked. Sorry. I'm just <laughs> um, all right. Uh, cash. Who's your highest HX? Um, that would be Quarantine Craig, Johnny. Mm. Okay. Hi. So what what would help uh, you out there, I guess, uh, Cash? I want to be hot. <laughs> All right. Hot. I was thinking hot. All right, so you'll highlight hot. Um, That's uh, a hot man. Let's see if I, I don't know if I highlighted cool. Does that help you at all? Yeah, sure. 
Okay, great. And the faceless. Uh, boom Boom knows me the best. <laughs> okay, so you got to highlight a staff for him. All right, uh, while you guys do this, I'm going to be right back. I'm going to reboot one more time. Sorry. Sure. You're good. Right. Um, I don't know. What are the faceless usually really good at? Are you weird too? Uh, I, I'm a machete wielding maniac, so. Oh, hard <laughs> probably or cool, huh? Hard is 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 my highest stat. All right. <laughs> All right, so you're highlighting hard. hard for him. Hard. Yeah. And I guess I'll highlight cool for you then. Okay, that works. All right. Uh, and by the way, folks, if you're watching, so cool, like any kind of thing, it's called like if you're doing something under fire or there's some kind of danger or urgency, there, you roll the cool stat. The hard stat is you generally, if you're actually attacking or what's called going aggro on someone where you're kind of really threatening them or you're going to fuck them up if they don't do what you want. Um, let's see, we got hot, which kind of like how it sounds actually is if you're trying to seduce or manipulate or deceive someone. And a sharp is if you're trying to kind of like, it's not kind of like a perception type thing in a way, figure out what's going on in the situation or another person read them. And weird is that uh, certainly probably the brainer that kind of comes into play where like you're trying to open your mind to the psychic maelstrom, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, hey, did the aliens have anything to do with this psychic maelstrom starting, do you think? Mm hmm. Mm. Well, at least that's, that's what Grim probably. thinks. That's totally what Grim thinks. So does he think did they did he, so the aliens maybe have some kind of psychic powers? <laughs> maybe so. It can only be guessed at, but he hopes not. Okay. <laughs> All right. Very good. Um, cool. Craig, can you just slide Rob's picture over the side again in uh, roll twenty? Thank you. I'm just saying yes to Anthony out there. Yes, Anthony. Okay. In the chat, you mean? Mm. Shakalaka? Mm. Uh, yeah. <laughs> is that what you said your last oh, name? Shakalaka. Oh, yeah, all right, I get it. You know, that that's re that, that was really just that one time with the Amazonian women, you know, with the water weavers. But it was like an impromptu thing. <laughs> I went boom, and they went shakalaka, shakalaka. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> uh, okay. So, sorry guys. I'm trying to figure this out. I just realized my power to my computer is not working. That's going to come to be a problem. My battery runs out. Um, <laughs> oh, All right. Well, so I'm going to work on that. Let me see if, uh, what's going on with this thing here. Um, well, I don't want this to be too dumb of an idea. And it might just be too ludicrous. But one thing that comes to mind is somehow... Uh, one of Cash's concerts is like the aliens or a faction is trying to do something that will threaten or cancel the concert. <laughs> or maybe they actually blew things up at one of his concerts. Uh, but anyway, I'm just trying to think, you know, something that we would have fun with. They would but try to interrupt my stupid. concert? Those monsters. Yeah, right? yeah, exactly, right. <laughs> Like it's like a Thunderdome concert and a faction comes in and just attacks and the concert is ruined. I'm holding, I'm holding a charity concert uh, for bullying. We're going to hire more bullies. We're going to give them better equipment to be better bullies. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> maybe, maybe that doesn't go with maybe charity. We maybe we won't do that just because we're doing charity for anti-bullying. <laughs> so. Because we don't want to have cyberbullying. No, cool. You can help support that by uh, donating a uh, link on the homepage, and I'll put it in the chat as well, uh, folks. It's part of World 20 Con. But you, what you're saying is there could be a concert. That yeah, I, I, I'm just putting it out as an idea, and I'm hoping somebody has like a, a better idea to like make it sound really awesome. That, that's just one idea, though. If there's something completely different, please throw it out. That's just the first were, thing. Were you I'm saying like? Oh, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. A battle of the bands. Oh, and uh, I, maybe we, you guys, uh, I've recruited you or convinced you to help me 
get rid of the other bands. <laughs> <laughs> I can do that. Okay. <laughs> um, and uh, let's see here. Okay, so the, you recruit the other characters here that kind of help you win, basically, right? The Battle yeah. of Bands? Or maybe it was their idea or like somebody else's idea, but yeah, where they maybe there's a big prize. Hmm. Okay, what could the prize be? Uh water. A lifetime supply of water or food. Mm. Mm. Oh. Okay. Uh so maybe the uh, whoever wins, you're saying like the water weavers will grant access to their water supply basically? Yeah. Okay, so uh, so maybe the water weavers are putting this battle on. So they're like hosting it, I guess, or something. Yeah, sure. All right, I'm just making some notes here. I do have power to my computer now, thank goodness. <laughs> uh, it's like post-apocalyptic coming true, man. No power. Uh, well, what do you, what do you guys think about that? This kind of stuff, that, this idea. I think it needs to be something that I really can't stand, like country. <laughs> a country man. I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> well, some one of the bands could play country. Right, right. I'm just kind of joking. Um, <laughs> uh, well, I'm I'm just trying to think like what what this would. Uh, I mean, is the idea that we're then going in and trying to sabotage the other bands? Or murder them? <laughs> yeah, murder that's what I was the thinking. Other bands. <laughs> I don't think we're going to be too subtle about this. No. So, maybe, one, maybe one of them can play one of Cash's songs that he was going to play. Oh, I'm not sure what the subtle instead. thing is. <laughs> <laughs> Subtlety? Who <laughs> should so there's copyright infringement. <laughs> I'm surprised you know what that is. Uh, all right, where where is this battle taking place of the bands? It's taking place in a barren valley. Oh, I think it should take place at the Alamo. Yeah. <laughs> okay, the actually, ruins of the Alamo. Sure. Let's say let's say the ruins of the Alamo, which is very uh, barren now. Well, but it's got jungles all around it. Yeah, but there's let's say there's what uh, I guess there's one area that's kind of maybe cleared there in the center of all that. Sure. Okay. Uh, and uh, all right, and so let's maybe let's say. They've constructed almost like a little makeshift village or something just for this event. Totally. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the event is called Waterpalooza. <laughs> okay, great. <laughs> I love it. Waterpalooza. I will be right back. Right. Um, He's got to let some water out of his palooza. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> okay, so what uh, what what are the other bands, the rival bands? Uh, the, the cyber bands. The prospectors have the 49ers that sing freaking country. <laughs> okay, so wait. The 49ers sing country, you said, right? Yeah. You said this, uh, Rob, you said the cyber babes? <laughs> An all-male band, strangely enough. <laughs> okay. So the Cyber Babes are all male, like, techno band or something? Yeah. Okay. Are those forerunners? <laughs> uh, they could be. Sure, let's say they're forerunners. Um, techno okay. band. But so we, uh, let's get another one. Let's get a third one. And they're men, but they're ladies. It's so confusing. <laughs> They're back in my day. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, well, any other ideas here, guys, for uh, band names? 
<laughs> Let's see. Um, uh, sure, a really uh, crude punk rock band named Bully. Bully? Okay. <laughs> rude, crude. Oh, they're the first to go. <laughs> punk, rock, yeah, punk rock band. And I'm going to say there's also a band called Alien Fuckers. <laughs> Uh, what about they, bullet dodgers? And they play uh, alt rock, alternative rock. <laughs> what was they that, play Greg? Pop. Mop. They play pop. Oh, I actually, I was thinking that too. All right, I'm going to change to that. They play. They play, pop. They, they, play uh, they play boy band they pop. Play oh, oh, Backstreet Boys. Oh, no, I was thinking. What about the bullet dodgers? Uh, mm. By the way, in the chat, Cody says, so you guys have to defeat the bully. I see what you did there. Yes, that was very clever. Very nice. Yeah. With a baseball bat. All right. Now, what, what is this oh, Cash nothing. have a name for, like, does he have a band a name or just he goes by Cash? What, what does he do? Just by Cash. Awesome. Are, these guys, are these guys playing in the band with you or they're just helping you? Uh, they're my roadies. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I play percussions. So. If, if you want to, you can do that too. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, good. So we got the Cyber Babes, the 49ers, Bully, and Alien Fuckers as the rival bands. Uh, and we have Cash. Who wants to win? Waterpalooza! <laughs> the biggest concert since the apocalypse happened. Perfect. I want a shower. And I want to see Cash shower, too. <laughs> oh, all right. I, I'm not going to go into that. Uh, <laughs> all right. Water for life. <laughs> okay. So let's see. So I guess you, well, you want to start it where, where everybody's in water, uh, the Waterpalooza area of the Alamo? Yeah, sure. Why not? All right. So, what what are you guys like? Where where are you guys? What are you doing? Like as we start here. Let's see. Uh, Grim is preparing himself for the uh, soon to be concert because he's actually pretty psyched for Cash to start playing. All right. So you're kind of milling around near the stage area. Yes. Okay, Cash. What are you doing? I'm uh, drinking. What are you drinking? Yeah. I am drinking moonshine. Uh, I'm getting liquored backstage with anybody else who will drink with me unless they're in one of the opposing bands. Okay. Anybody back there with Cass drinking? Um, I can be. Sure. Right. Quarantine's Oh, yeah. Well, you have his leash, so that makes sense. Yeah. I would if be if I'm one of his road. I'm like the drummer or something. Oh, or the manager if you hold my leash. Yeah. Well, you're the manager. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Uh, I'm all right. standing outside the door, and, oh. and I have an earpiece in my ear. <laughs> That's not <laughs> connected to anything. <laughs> yeah, right. That's not connected to anything. Good. You just want to make it look like, are you, so you're kind of being like a bodyguard type thing right now? Yeah. All right. And the faceless? If Steve's still there. All right. Drinking. Drinking. What is it? What'd you say? Drinking. One word, <laughs> drinking. All right. Okay, cool. All right. So there you go. Uh, let's say, uh, wait, you, did you guys say you were backstage? Yeah, totally. All right. Yeah. And Grim's out in front though, kind of right? Kind of milling around with the crowd. Nate? Yes. Yes, okay. I think so. All right. Cool. Um, all right, so uh, yeah, so so people are milling around out in front there. Uh, there's different like kind of makeshift shops and vendors and stuff. Um, uh, people have different shirts on with the different band names or uh, or shirts with uh, drawings of people like killing or aliens or like rude pictures of aliens and stuff like that. Um, <laughs> So um, the uh, there's um, uh, an Amazonian woman. Well, okay, she's not Amazonian. She's like that. So a water weaver, 
who are like Amazonian women, right? We established, uh, who has a really uh, big uh, blue mohawk, let's say, uh, gets up there. I don't know, what the hell's her name? <laughs> Medusa. Oh, right, great. Oh, I love it. Perfect name. All right. Medusa. Let's say she's kind of like, kind of, I guess, the promoter, I guess you would say, maybe of this water palooza. Possibly the host. Yeah, she like she like the host, the kind of the, the kind of thing behind it. All right, she and so she she gets up there and the, the I get, obviously we're saying there's some technology that works, right? I'm going to assume that you have you can plug in your instruments and that kind of stuff, and, <laughs> or is it all acoustic? <laughs> no, uh, they're they're giant generators. Okay, all right, that works. All right, <clears throat> so she steps up to the mic and is like. Hey, all you fuckers! Welcome to Waterpalooza. <laughs> the roar. And then everybody, uh, yeah, Grim, do you join in the crowd with like <laughs> cheering and? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, some uh, some uh, big dude next to you, Grim. He kind of he's like cheering real loud, and he kind of grabs you in a big bear hug and lifts you off the ground because he's so excited. <laughs> now put me down, you lummox! Oh, that's right. I don't know if he established, but Grim is what is he like fifty something? Is that what He's we at least fifty eight. <laughs> okay, all right. But I like to say uh, Nate does it like he's ninety. Is the way he <laughs> yes, voices. fifty <laughs> going on ninety. <laughs> right. All right. So, uh, all right. Well, he uh, he puts you down, and he kind of gives you a friendly what he thinks is a friendly punch, but it kind of actually uh, shows you back away. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, and so she's got Medusa's going on about uh, all the different bands that are going to be forming, blah blah blah, all that kind of stuff. People are getting excited. Um, so backstage, um, let's see. So you guys are the rest of you are all backstage drinking with cash. Well, I'm standing outside the dressing room, and if there's somebody that's clearly by themselves, that's a roadie or a band member from another band, I'm going to hit them with my baseball bat and throw them in the garbage can backstage. <laughs> okay, great. So, uh, so actually, uh, the uh, 49ers, the country band, <laughs> uh, actually walk up uh, and they want to uh, get into the backstage area. All right, but but not in Cash's room, right? No, no, they're gonna they want to go. There's only one backstage area. They want to go where Cash is. Yep. Oh, this is only for good musicians. <laughs> <laughs> no country crap allowed. Uh, and the uh, who, who's the front man for the 49ers? <laughs> Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> All right, great. Cotton Eye Joe. Uh, they actually like one of their numbers is actually oh, no, that sorry to talk. <laughs> yeah. Oh god. Um, all right. So uh, Cole Chris Hadley says he's gotta go uh, take a little nap, and ho hopefully we'll be back later. Chris, thank you for watching. Hope we see you Hi, soon. Chris. Thanks for in the other game. Um, maybe you got so disturbed by all, all, all these characters. <laughs> <laughs> this game. All right. Remember, folks, please keep donating to Cyber Smile if you haven't yet. I put the link in the chat. It's also at supergeekdup.com. And we're playing all day long. We're playing Fake Correlators today at 7 p.m. Eastern time. Thank you for joining us. All right. So uh, so you say that to uh, the 49ers. So Cotton Eye Joe, it, so he said, wait, wait, you said what? This is only for good musicians, right? Yep. This is only for good musicians. And he's like, what a tall nation are you talking about? We're the best musicians here. What's your name? Black-Eyed Joe? <laughs> he says, no, my name's Cotton-Eyed Joe. I'm the best singer uh, in the, uh, I don't know, the nine states that are left. <laughs> I punch him in the face. <laughs> all right. So that's, um, I guess, uh, all right, so you're actually, yeah, you're just punching him, right? Yeah, just punching him right. I'm going to try to give him black eyes. All right, so Sam, this this would be suckering someone, right? Uh, that would be uh, single comp. Yeah, but I mean, he's not making a threat. He's 
<laughs> He's straight up decking him in the face. Right. But so, there is a sucker someone says when you attack someone unsuspecting. Yeah, well, yeah, there is that. But I guess we could still say, you sh- yeah, you inflict it. All right, but it's still, yeah, all right. So you're going to, so we'll say, though, like, because he's obviously not going to like that. <laughs> um, right. All right. So we will, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do this uh, kind of like a single combat thing as exchanging um, harm. All right. So what you need to do is roll hard. Oh, so Nate, you're going to have to roll that for him, right? Because his shoot wasn't working. Yeah. yeah. So roll hard for a boom. So it's plus three. Oh, my God. You got a 12? Oh, 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 wow. All right. That's amazing. <laughs> my old one, too. So, yeah, so you got so you got over a 10. And on that, you can, uh, you can do both of these things. So you inflict terrible harm, which means you're going to do plus one to your harm, and you're going to get one mi- minus one harm to you. That's really good. Right. So, All right. Um, Sounds good. What, uh, what does your weapon do? Three harm? What is it? What is your weapon? Or no, what is the baseball bat? Uh, you're, you're punching um, him. You're punching I'm him, punching right? him. I, I didn't want to take his head off. I just wanted to really mess up his face. All right. So what, I actually don't know off the top of my head. I'm going to say punching does a plus one as a base, let's say, because a lot of the gun weapons do plus two, do two damage, I think, right? Like a lot of the pistols and stuff. Yeah. Well, right. one damage normally, if you. Yeah. Yeah. Into the roll, then yeah, it would be like. Yeah, so I'm going to say, since you got the great roll, it's going to be two two damage. Uh, All right. Well, and I get a plus one for uh, for blood crazed. So would that be three? Does that apply to every <laughs> – what does that apply to every attack you do? Every, every every time I inflict harm. Oh, all right. So that's three harm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he has <laughs> the gun lugger bonus. Yeah, that applies. Okay. Well, very good. Yeah, you're a tough dude. Yeah. Uh, Oh, but and now in the chat, listeners mate is putting the lyrics to Cotton Eye Joe. So very nice. <laughs> yeah. um, all right. So you, uh, yeah, you just wail off as he's in the middle of talking and punch Bam! him right in the face. Uh, you punch him maybe actually a little harder than you meant to. Uh, he just goes, he just falls straight back on under his under the back, and he's knocked out. All um, right. I I slam a button on my prosthetic arm. Which they hear, which is a, a double-barreled shotgun, and I point it at them and I say, "Musicians only." <laughs> well, before you did that, unfortunately, the other guys jumped all on top of you. All right. So in yeah, the in the, um, in the room, you guys are he- you guys are hearing a commotion outside, in the hall. So what are you guys doing? The rest of you. To, uh, hey, Grim, Grim, why don't you roll weird for me? <laughs> okay, I definitely will. And uh, so, quarantine, faceless, and Cash, are you guys going out there? Like, you're hearing a fight going on outside. Cash gets angry. He's missing out on a fist fight. He <laughs> All right, are you going to go outside the door then? Yeah. Mongo picks up his. All right, Mongo picks up his. Quarantine, are you going to join them going outside? Um, sure. I think um, I don't actually have a weapon on my sheet, but I think he quarantine would have um, a baseball bat again with barbed wire wrapped around it. I'm stealing from um, the zombie show. I know, but still, okay, but with like fine. still flesh inside, flesh sure. on some of the barbs. All right. Um, so, yeah. Okay, cool. All right. So uh, Nate, so you got an awesome role there for a uh, weird. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, all right, so you opened your my you to the world psychic maelstrom. Mm-hmm. Hey, what does that look like when you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it's very colorful, <laughs> like psychedelic. <laughs> no, no, uh, pretty much like if someone ate a bunch of Fruit Loops and vomited all over the place. Oh, oh. great, great, great visual! I love it. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so um, as you open your the, your brain, uh, you you can sense that uh, uh, Boom is in trouble. Uh, okay, uh, you, you actually you even you even actually can uh, uh, see that there's like uh, you know there's multiple assailants trying to attack him. I see. Well, now, but you also you also see into his mind and you find out something about him 
Uh, what do you? What does he find out about you, Boom? <laughs> uh, he finds out that I think that this whole thing is really hilarious, and that actually I really do kind of like Cotton Eye Joe's big hit song. <laughs> but I love Cash so much better. <laughs> okay. All right. Good. All right, there you go, Grim. Now you know some secrets about uh, Boom. <laughs> All right, so after you find that out, what do you do, Grim? Okay, well, um, he's probably never going to diss country around uh, <laughs> Boom again, since he already is disliked so much by him. Uh, but he will go ahead and hobble with his awesome little staff uh, over to the backstage and uh, see what's really going on. Okay, great. All right, that's right. You're hobbling, so you don't move too fast. Uh, all right, so you're you're on your way there. Um, all right, so you guys, the rest of you, uh, kind of burst out. Uh, I'll say, Cash, you kind of like kick the door open, um, and you see uh, you see Boom uh, trying to like fight off four different uh, band members of the 49ers. Mosh pit. <laughs> and then he runs in. <laughs> All right, so you're going to try to attack one of them? Uh, yeah. <laughs> when Cash says that, I say, yeah! What, uh, what are you, are you using your fist? Do you have a weapon? What are you doing? Uh, I'm going to use my, if it's, if they're all just unarmed, then it's a good old-fashioned fist fight. And uh, he runs in swinging, even though he has hard minus one. <laughs> so. All right, so I'm going to say two, two of them have knives, two of them are just using their fists. Oh, well, then I hit one with a knife with my guitar. <laughs> Okay. Does the guitar have a rating on it? But it doesn't, right? As a weapon. Uh, I think it did. Uh, did it? It, it's hold on. Let me just. Um, oh, oh you know what? No, yeah. It's when I play. Uh, one of them. Uh, I didn't pick that one. So. All right, well, that's okay. No, I'm gonna say you can use your guitar. I'm gonna say, uh, the guitar. I don't know. I'm trying to think what makeshift weapons could do. So, like, what do you guys think? A fist do one. Should a guitar do more than a fist damage, or the same? I would say probably clogs. Close to the fists? All right. We'll say it does, because a gun does two usually. We'll say the guitar does one as a base damage, I guess. Yeah. Um, okay. All right. All right. So you're going to, uh, yeah, so is this an acoustic uh, guitar? Is that what it is? Electric, I think, for this, electric, for this okay. performance. All right. All right. So you got a five. Okay, so that's a miss. Oh, but, sorry, I should say, folks, uh, a seven to nine is uh, a partial success, they call it. A 10 or above is a full success. So a six or below is a miss in this game. Uh, and they're rolling 2d6 and they're adding their modifiers. All right. So unfortunately, that means you're, the opponent gets to choose something oh, against you. Oh, peachy. Yeah. Um, he's going to uh, he's gonna choose to suffer less harm. All right. So that means actually you're not going to damage him at all. Uh, cool. so, but you're going you're gonna to swing your guitar um, and... Um, he, uh, you're gonna swing your uh, guitar against into his head, but you didn't know uh, he kind of has like a big metal plate in his head, so the guitar <laughs> just kind of like hits and like bang, reverberates against it. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> all right, so quarantine. What are you doing? Um, I'm going to fight one of the people with knives with my. Um, I won't use the meat cleaver. I'll just. The baseball bat uh, and right. uh, take swings at them with the okay, bat so with hard. hard. So hard. What does the baseball bat damage do? Does anybody know? Which baseball bat? Uh, I would think at least like a big ass knife, which is two. Okay. All right. I'll say it does too. Bat as well. So, okay, yeah, well, maybe even sure. a three. I don't know. I, I put down, but but I'm just using my own judgment for like an extra large baseball bat that's spiked with nails. I put I'll, say that's a, a I'll say that's a two. Oh. I don't can know. You, well, the, gun the gun logger can get a bonus like that, though, I think, right, for the three? Well, machete is three, so I was sort of thinking like a giant baseball bat with right. nails would be That's three. That's fine. Uh, Craig, I'm going to say yours is a two because yours is not as big as the gun luggers, your baseball bat. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Okay. However, you were missed, unfortunately. Well, for sure. Um, yeah. So, okay. so uh, 
you uh, swing your baseball bat, but the guy, he like dodges, he ducks underneath it and you uh, miss. All right, faceless. M Mongo is his name, I guess, right? Mongo giggles to himself. <laughs> and dives and uh, prompt him down with the machete. All right, so Mongo's trying to cut one of them down with a machete. All right, so you can do a hard roll. Let me keep track of these guys. The forty nine. Nice. Oh my God, thirteen. Yeah. Well, that's a, that's an excellent. Hey, uh, that's hit. pretty good. Yeah, yeah, very good. Oh. Uh, all right. So uh, you all right? So you get to do both. You get to it's like extra harm and less get less harm in return. Um, uh, let's see here. For what, what is the machete does three? Did you guys say? Or two? Three. three. It does three. Uh, he's going to inflict. Well, you get, you get, I'm sorry, Steve. I got to have to jump in here a little bit just because you're breaking up. We can't really understand um, what you're saying. So uh, he gets on that roll. So he, yeah, all right. So you, he cuts out with the machete and uh, he, uh, he slices right into the guy's gut. And oh boy, that's really gross. And that kind of all his guts are spilling out. <laughs> um, and uh, so, uh, and that that guy just he goes down, man. Like he's he's out of the fight. All right, Steve was sending me. Well, that that was way more way more damage that was necessary for, for that guy. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, and uh, all right, so that guy's done. So there's only three of these 49ers left. All right. Uh, and then uh, let's see here. All oh, you guys went. So. Um, I'm trying to think, uh, Nate. Where, did we have? No, they don't really ever roll against, right? Like it's really just you guys rolling. Like we never. Yeah, Steve said we never really have the NPC. Whenever combat happens during your turns, it's like everyone you know slaps each other. It's just who slaps harder, right? Yeah. Um. Okay. So uh, let's see here. All right. So uh, let's say Grim. Let's say you've now hobbled back there. And you see, wow, you see this big kind of just cra crazy melee freaking thing going in this tiny hallway. <laughs> I heard a battle of the bands, but this is ridiculous. <laughs> well, um, well, I'll probably uh, search around the room for something and look at his staff and go, uh, okay, uh, I, I guess this will work. And, you know, he'll just run over and try to whap someone with it. With your staff, did you say? Yes. I like your walking stick? Okay, good. <laughs> All right. All right, so do a hard roll for that. All right, here comes nothing. Oh, oh God, it's a one. Oh! <laughs> oh, but, well, that, the only way to get that, oh, you must have rolled two ones on both <laughs> dice, right? Well, no, um, or, yeah, actually. Because you got a minus one. Yeah, yeah. All right. Ooh, that was a bad roll. All right. Um, so he said, thou shalt not pass, and then fell on his butt. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So you uh, you try to uh, you try to uh, strike out there, um, and uh, the guy, uh, fortunately, it's a pretty feeble uh, strike you do. So the guy just grabs your staff. Um, and he actually takes it out of your hand and he smashes you in the face with it. <laughs> oh. um, so I'm going to say uh, you just took two harm. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> do, you have, do you have any armor? Uh, yes, worth Eight? one. Uh, it has one armor. Okay, so you, so you took one harm, which actually means you have to mark, I think, one of your boxes, yes. right? Your first box. Yes, I'm three hours closer to midnight. <laughs> okay. And he needs to make a. Uh... Oh, that's true. You got to make a roll. Yeah, 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 yeah. I almost forgot about that. You got to make a. When you suffer harm, you got to. So roll plus the harm you suffered. So roll. Give me a, a 2d6 plus one. Roll. This kind of, I guess, seems what happens to you. A nine. Mm -hmm. Let's see. So at a nine, I can choose one of these things that happen. All right. So let's see, I'll say, oh, well, that just makes sense. One of the options are you lose your grip whenever you're holding. Yeah, so the guy took the staff away from you, so there you go. Perfect. 
So, yeah, it, it just, the, the staff flies out of his hand. He's like, come on, on this. Yeah. All right. I actually forgot to inflict harm on the rest of you guys in return for these things, but whatever. I'll just, we'll just do this next time. Because <laughs> um, when, when you do a harm, actually, both parties inflict their harm kind of at the same time is how this works in this game. It's a little different than a lot of games. All right. Um, but I think a lot of your guys' armors probably would have protected you. Anyway. Yeah, I mean, I, I would have had a, a plus three, basically, you know, so right. unless you guys are did yeah. more damage than I did to him. Yeah. All right, so there's three uh, three 49ers left. Uh, back to Boom. All right. Uh, you know, I, I've never tried this. It's a, it's a chaotic free-for-all. And so it says the massive combatants suffer harm, like as a single gang inflicting harm upon itself. Could I try that? And then I choose two things, I get, or two or three things if I do it. But, but then does... Does everybody get harmed the way normal or not? So what that, what, it's something that lets you harm a group of people? Is that what it does? I think so. What's it called? It's called chaotic free-for-all. Am I allowed to do that, or is that like a special move that I must? Is it, is it one of your class moves? Uh, it's under battle moves. Raw oh, combat it's one moves, of the one moves. single combat, and then one, which I did, and then the other's a chaotic free-for-all. There was just a note on this character that said that I should, when I get a chance, that I should look up chaotic free-for-all. Uh, okay, that's, that's one of the battle moves. I'll be honest with you, I'm, so I don't, unless some as you know, I'm not actually sure how that works. Um, <clears throat> I don't know if some is still on. Uh, this connection's bad. Yeah, um, I haven't heard of no, nah, he's saying he doesn't know. Okay. Uh, I'm going to say let's maybe not do that then because I'm, not sure, I'm just not sure exactly how to apply that. <laughs> okay, that's fine. All right. So, uh, so I, I'm, I'm going to just uh, – uh, uh, oh, I don't care. I take my baseball bat and smash Cotton Eye Joe. <laughs> well, he's already, he's already knocked out. He's, he's knocked one of the out. Other okay. Wh whoever is the biggest guy in the group, I go ahead and – baseball bat him for all he's worth let's break some bones all right so you're gonna attack a big guy named pinky all right pinky so go go ahead uh nate so roll oh yeah nate roll harm for him please for a boom sorry man no worries and your baseball bat does three as its base damage uh yeah three is base so plus one so it's four damage Wait, where's the – oh, because you get the thing that always has plus one, right? Yeah, it's it's blood craze, so right? Right, well, you, I'm always blood craze. All right, you're at – well, you're actually doing five damage because you got a great you got a great roll for you again. Um, all right. <laughs> uh, so, and he uh, – the the other dude – what is your armor, like three or something? Uh, my armor is two. Two, okay. All right, so the guy uh, – the pinky guy uh, tries to punch at you, but you uh, – kind of just deflect that out of the way, and then you give him a nice uppercut with your baseball bat right under the chin. Right. Uh, and his teeth fly out, and a bunch of his teeth and blood, uh, and, he, and he lands right on top of Cotton Eye Joe. Nice. And while I do this, can I have, like, a gigantic boom that shows, like, in a big bubble above our heads <laughs> with, like, big zigzags? Uh, I'll, I'll say that uh, Grim holds up a... Uh, a sign he made that says boom over your Nice! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Obviously, he did that. <laughs> All right, uh, Cash, you're up. Uh, is there anybody left standing? There's two, two 49ers left standing. And he just took out Pinky? Yeah. I go after the brain. No! Oh! <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I, I I basically just keep swinging with my guitar. I, I suck at it, but... All right, you're know. swinging your axe. Oh, wait, no. Are these guys armed? Uh, one, one, the two remaining, one has a knife, one has is just is unarmed. Okay, I swing at the one with a uh, knife. Or you could break out in a song. You could yeah. just rock and roll it. <laughs> no, I got excited. I want to hit things. All right. Okay. What, do you have any armor? 
Uh, I do. I have like a long duster on that has plates in it. It gives me one, uh, one AP or whatever. Okay, one armor. Yeah, cool. Uh, all right. So, uh, yep, you swing your guitar, uh, but you're much better uh, playing it than using it as a weapon. Uh, so, um, he dodges out of the way, and then he, um, what? Sorry, what is it? I'm gonna, I don't know. I'm gonna say this knife does too. I don't, don't want to like. I just, and guys, I know these. I'm not sure about all these stats. I just don't want to slow down the game, so I'm just gonna make some things up if I don't know. Sure. Um, sure. I'm, so he doesn't have like a huge knife, you know. So uh, he is. Uh, he's gonna hit you with his knife, um, and so yeah, he's gonna stab you uh, in the shoulder. Bastard. Yeah, <laughs> and you're gonna take two harm. No, no, I'm sorry. You're gonna take uh, one harm because you have one armor. Uh, so mark mark your first box there. I guess it's a three, right? It says on the sheet in, under yeah. the harm. Okay. And the first three boxes is not really that bad. It's like once you kind of go past that, where you start getting not the good situations. Right. Um. All right. Cool. Uh. Well, not cool for you. Sorry, but uh. <laughs> so. Ah, oh, chicks uh, stars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, Corn. Uh, Craig, I see he's coming back in here. All right, Craig, it's your turn. Uh, I'm going to, um, I'm going to see one of the guys, um, attack Grim and I'm going to swing for him. Oh, thank you. Cause I know Grim. <laughs> I'm special. He's the only one that's plus. <laughs> so. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, oh my God, this computer is killing me, man. This power keeps going in and out. So, guys, if this feed stops, which it may at any minute, unfortunately, I'm sorry. That means my computer is being really stupid and not powering up. Oh. Uh, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to try to switch to a different one. All right. So, guys, if you're watching the stream stops, that's what happened. Uh, we will be back up as soon as possible. Um, what did you? Uh, you got an eleven? Okay. Well, that's really good. What is you? Your weapon does two. We said harm, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, yeah, you swing the baseball bat uh, right upside his head. Uh, and yeah, you just knocked the crap out of him. He's he's also uh, knocked out now. Yeah, I just want to knock him out. I don't want to kill him. Okay, uh, faceless is up. Going over to the one that stabbed Cash. He needs that arm and bring the machete down on him. <laughs> oh, you're gonna give him his arm as a gift? <laughs> Just in case he needs a replacement. Good idea. <laughs> up. Touching. All right, so you can do a roll. Mm. Oh, an eight. Okay. So you can choose either to inflict terrible harm or suffer less harm. He inflicts terrible harm. <laughs> okay. So, so that's this, four. Was, this was the guy who attacked uh, Cash, right? Cash. Mm -hmm. All right. So what's your armor? Three. Oh, wow. Jesus Christ. Faces has a big armor. All right. Well, it's, it's because I have uh, Juggernaut, or not, uh, Rest Fusion. While I'm being <laughs> scary and going after people, I have plus one armor. Uh, okay. <laughs> All right. So he swipes out with his knife. Uh, you just kind of bat that away. And, uh, yeah. And what did you say? You're, tr you're trying to cut his arm off? Or just... Yeah. I mean, d d I'm disarming him. Okay. <laughs> Uh, so Who uh, laughs? Disarming. I got it. Uh, wow, that face is what I'm sitting here looking at. All right. So, uh, all right. So you, uh, you, yeah, you, you cut his the hand he had with the knife off, uh, and he runs out screaming, holding his uh, his wrist. He won't be playing guitar again anytime soon. <laughs> That's for sure. Um, <laughs> Yeah, sorry guys. This is a bloody game. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. Well, that that's it for the, the 49ers. They're done. <laughs> so, um, uh, Grim, you take your staff back from the guy who had taken it. <laughs> Damn scoundrels! Oh, this is my lucky staff. Mongo looks over to Cash. Do we win Battle of the Bands? Knocked out one of them. Cash, what do you say to that? I think that uh, I think that was awesome. <laughs> we should go fight other people. 
Yeah, what? Unless, yeah, I didn't have to go on stage. <laughs> so, uh, so I, 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 I go to. Uh, I'm sure there's another like door that be literally like out back behind the stage. Well, before I, you do, go ahead, go ahead. Before you do that, Medusa walks in, uh, and that, while she's turning the corner, she's like, "All right, 49ers, you're up next." And she's like, "What the fuck?" Griff's guy fighting hobbles over there. He's like, oh, oh, please, please. All right, here, let me explain. He taps her on the shoulder. All right, well, you see, the 49ers had this dispute with uh, the band that obviously needed to go up before them. I know you want them to go first, but they're kind of uh, <laughs> in shambles. While he's doing this, I'm picking Cotton Eye Joe up, and I'm going to toss him out the back door behind the stage. <laughs> Obviously, some people mistook Battle of the Bands, literally. <laughs> uh, all right, I want you to roll hot for me, because you're, you're trying to, uh, you know, convince oh, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm actually <laughs> going to uh, persuade her in a different way. Uh, you know, uh, you're going to try to do your brain thing? Yes. Okay, so, so you're rolling a weird then, right? Yes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, <laughs> so, can you explain to the viewers how this works or what you're doing? Essentially, as long, and this is because of his awesome little violator glove, which I love the name for. Essentially, as long as he's able to come into physical contact with somebody, he can then use a brainer move called in-brain puppet strings, which is <laughs> you... Uh, <laughs> can plant a command inside their mind and unless they perform that, it, you can have something really bad happen. But otherwise they feel the uh, compulsion, and even if it's slight, to do so. So I, and I, this rolls isn't so good. Basically, she, she's basically going to have to do this, right? Or if she doesn't, something bad is really bad is going to happen. Basically like, uh, you know, why don't you just let them go first? And then at the end, say the 49ers couldn't make it since they're not all here. <laughs> okay, when you say them, who are you saying one of the other bands? Who are you saying? Uh, well, well I guess you could say our band. All right. So, oh, you, so you want Cash. You're trying to say, like, let Cash go. Yes. And then, all right, so sorry, say it again in character to her exactly what you're saying. <laughs> all right. Or, or is this through your mind you're doing this? Like through your mind? Uh, well, it, it, well, I, I basically just, I, I, you know, I'm able to um, uh, emphasize the command I put into her mind by, you know, obviously throwing in a few little words to ease it along. Okay, I got you. All right, so she... Uh, so she was looking all pissed off, uh, and then all of a sudden uh, she kind of looks uh, not really as pissed off anymore, and she says, oh, yeah, that's fine. These 49ers, they sucked anyway. Um, <laughs> she's like, Cash, you're up. Get out there. Yes. <laughs> and, I'm dra- and I'm dragging the rest of the bodies out, throwing them out the back door, and each time one hits the ground, I go, boom. <laughs> and, and every time you do that, Grim uh, holds the sign over your head. <laughs> yes. like hovering behind him. Yeah. Mongo looks over to Cash. Do you need a hand? And hands out, holds out the hand with the knife still in it. Oh. <laughs> sure. I need something. I need something to throw into the audience while I'm playing. Oh. <laughs> I take a knife out, though. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> uh, Cash uh, grabs this guitar and tunes it quickly before heading in. Okay, cool. So, uh, so Cash, you're get, he's gonna head, you're gonna head out. You're gonna tune your guitar, then you're gonna head out on the stage, right? Uh, yeah, but I need uh, I need to ask. I guess it's not totally uh, Craig quarantine. Apparently, I'm supposed to ask him. Uh, because he's your manager, yeah. Yeah, it's it's. Uh, do you think I I'd be cool with this? Where is it? Be cool with like performing? Yeah, like I I gotta wait for his his go his get okay. uh, his so, like. So uh, Johnny, do you give him the go ahead to go out and perform? Um, are you ready? I was born you feel ready. Good. <laughs> I feel fantastic. Then. Good, then go out there and do it. 
I will. Thanks, boss. Remember, smile. All right, cool. Smile. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, Cash gets a giant, creepy, Joker-esque smile on his face and walks out. Okay. All right. So he, you're walking on stage. Where, where are you? Resting? Are you going out to watch him? What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> Somebody I'm likes going, to hit me. I'm going to stand like right, you know, like on the edge of the stage, like in the back ready to uh, shoot out any uh, hand grenades if anybody dares to throw a tomato or something. <laughs> throw hand grenades, all right. I'm not shivering loudly. You yeah, I've got a grenade launcher. Okay. Do you have a grenade launcher, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's shotgun and grenade launcher are, are my two main things. I just haven't used them yet. <laughs> yeah, okay. looking at my gear, yeah. I actually have a melee weapon, so I'm, I'm All right, saying so you, you said, uh, so, you, sorry, Crip, you said you're staying like kind of near the stage? Yeah, well, yeah, I'll be kind of the my stage. idea is, you know, how, how usually there's like a little backstage area where you can look on to the stage. Yeah. So I'm just like, yeah. firmly planted. Like, I'm not stealing any limelight, but I'm letting people know that he's got a bodyguard. All right. Uh, is anybody actually out in the crowd watching? <laughs> uh, as, as, as Mongo in confusion uh, about how concerts really work, runs out across the stage and goes to leap out into the crowd and probably nobody catches him and he just lands in the dirt. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Yeah. But can, can, you, can you describe it? You're kind of like a really weird looking guy. Is that right? It, he's, he's a really big guy and just dressed in like pieced together armor. He's got like road signs bent around his arms and stuff. And he's wearing what looks like a fractured doll face mask. <laughs> okay, great. Yeah, so no, you, you, you run out uh, past Cash as he's walking out, and you dive off the stage, and everyone shrieks and moves the hell out of the way, and you smash right into the dirt. <laughs> and he's just giggling on the ground. <laughs> and, then that, and then people start walking over you. <laughs> he's okay with this. Yeah. All right, quarantine. Are you backstage as well, kind of with? Uh... Uh, I'll be at the side of the stage, out the way. All right, and where's Grim? <laughs> Grim obviously wants to watch this show in secret. He can't let word get out that he actually enjoys Cash's music. <laughs> All right, so are you? You're kind of you're off somewhere, like watching. <laughs> yes, basically opposite of. Uh, <laughs> um... Okay. All right. Cool. All right. So, Cash, uh, all right, so we walk out there. Do you say anything to the audience? I say, I grab the microphone, and I said, I'm sorry, the 49ers couldn't make it tonight, but uh, they said this, and I toss the hand into the audience. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, uh, what are the – so there's a, I don't know, a woman catches it, and – and she gets super excited, and uh, she faints from Excellent. excitement. <laughs> and I say, my first song is dedicated to the ancient death satellites orbiting our heads. May they wake and rain fire on us all. Uh, <laughs> and then uh, when I play, I actually, I'm going to, what's it called? Uh, I crack open the world, and I roll against weird for my music to have uh, bizarro effects. <laughs> nice. Is the song you're playing Sleeping Satellite? I'm just curious. Uh, no, it's Waking Satellite. Sleeping <laughs> Satellite. I just saw All right. All right. Does this tell you what happens on your rolls? Or? Yeah. So on a seven to nine, I get to choose one of my results, and then I suffer one harm AP loud. Uh, and I choose. Uh, unfortunately, Waking Up Death Satellites is not one of my options. Um, but I do, I, I make the noise that the dinosaurs heard when they looked up and saw the fireball. Uh, <laughs> I tell the NMC that all the NPCs who hear it now form a cult and ask what they do. Oh my god. <laughs> How many people are in the audience? Uh, so right now he's playing the song for Goldeneye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, and first off, since you you have armor one, right? So you actually wouldn't really suffer any harm, right? Oh, perfect. Uh, but it's armor piercing. But do, is your is your armor protect you against armor piercing or no? No, there uh, there is no armor that's armor. Okay. All right. So piercing. sorry. I guess you're you are going to take one more harm then. You got to check another box. 
Okay, no problem doing that. Perfect. All right. So it's, it makes the sound the dinosaurs made when the meteor came. Is that what it says? When they saw the meteor coming. All right. And so you make this. So how, what does that sound like? Like what are the audiences hearing? It sounds like a painful cry of extinction. All right, and that's like, from your, like from heavily, your distorted, heavily distorted electric guitar solo, but it's probably like that thing where they do the reverb and then hold the guitar near the amp and it starts like a, like a, I don't know, like a, uh, a bat, uh, like a feedback. Right. <laughs> okay. He's in the back going, tastes like raspberries. <laughs> so, uh, all right, so that'll come out. And at first everyone will kind of like cover their ears because it really hurt. Uh, but then after that, uh, they'll start chanting, uh, Cash, you're, yes, you're our savior, command us. Kill the other bands. <laughs> <laughs> Mount their heads on pipes. <laughs> so okay. I assume this, this affects us all, right? Only NPCs. But I well, in the cloud. NPCs. But you could do whatever you want. Clap. <laughs> Good idea. I like this song. Yeah. All right. So, all right. So you you say that, and then uh, they all they all start to get like uh, they're really pissed off and all angry. Uh, but then um, someone uh, from the uh, alien fuckers, uh, the lead singer, jumps up on stage, and he. Uh, he plays uh, a guitar rift as well. Ah. <laughs> and then and then he says he he yells to the audience, kick Cash's ass. Uh, but then they're also confused now, because all this music was played and these commands, that they start turning on each other and there's a huge fight in the crowd now. Everybody's just punching and kicking each other. <laughs> I nod approvingly at the other member of the band, or the, like the, the guy, the alien fucker singer. I, I nod approvingly at him. This is also excellent. <laughs> and then I like, I guess he starts. Pl I play. Uh, Cash starts playing more guitar. Like they're gonna like gonna do gonna do a guitar duel or something. Yeah, they're gonna do a guitar duel. Yeah. So well, uh, I'm trying to think for this duel. Oh boy, what what do you think you would roll for this duel? Would it still be the weird maybe because that's what you did for the other th guitar thing? Yeah, or maybe cool, maybe or hot. Oh yeah, actually you're kind of under. I could see cool applying, sure. Yeah, okay. it's also cool. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, okay. Partial success. All right. All right. Uh, oh, that's a highlighted one. What happens when I roll highlighted ones? Oh yeah, any, guys. Any time you're rolling one. highlighted, you should mark an XP every time you roll a highlighted stat. Yeah. Just keep track of that. There's boxes on the sheet for that. Got it. And once you fill them up, clear them out, but you can pick one of those uh, bonus things like underneath it, and you can fly that right away. All right. Um, well, they're having right. So right now the duel's kind of you're doing really well, but he's also doing pretty good too. Uh, it's actually a pretty awesome display of uh, music here. Uh, what are the rest of you doing? There, there's just a huge fight going yeah. out in the crowd. I, I want to see if, if there are any other uh, clear groups of band members of the other bands around, because I'm seriously considering lobbing a couple grenades at them with my <laughs> grenade launcher while all this chaos is going on. So do, do, do I see uh, the bullies or any of the other alien fucker band members around? Uh, Any of them in a group out front? You see the uh, cyber babes. The cyber yeah. babes? Yeah. But that, remember, that's an, old male, male, that's an old male group, actually. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. Where are they? Are uh, they just on the side drinking or just like going boo? Or are they. Yeah. They're actually uh, getting, they're trying to get out of the crowd because they're getting accosted by the huge melee that broke out. Uh, so if you shoot them, you're going to start killing other people too. Right, right. Especially okay. with grenades. <laughs> yeah. So I'm just going to like walk like on the stage towards kind of their direction as they're like edging out. I, as you, you do, by the way, me... as you do, sorry, Medusa runs up and grabs you and say, like, what the hell's going on here? It's... 
Every time I run to you guys, something horrible is happening. <laughs> All right. I just don't respond and try to drag her along, and I'm looking looking for the uh, you know uh, that other band and see if they get clear from the crowd or not. Uh, see, seeing uh, Boom Boom heading over that way, uh, uh, Mongo will proceed to punch and, and knock his way through the crowd heading that way too. <laughs> Uh, heading toward, towards Bo Boom, where Boom is going? Yeah, I mean, he, he sees Boom going somewhere, so he wants to go too. Okay, sure. Uh, Grim and, and uh, Johnny, are you doing anything, or are you just kind of watching? Oh, man, I'm uh, enmeshed in my guitar battle. Oh, well, sorry, yeah, remember, I'll, I'll call you Cash, I'm, I'll call him Johnny, right. Johnny. Yeah. I'm, um, I'm in, uh, I'm watching, I'm in my military gear. I don't think anyone's stupid enough to attack someone with um, an <laughs> assault rifle, so I'm just watching. Well, uh, I'm, make, I'm covering Johnny, making sure no one actually attacks Johnny except this guy. And if he pisses Johnny off enough, I'll just shoot the guy. <laughs> oh, uh, do you want me to roll the one he's by force? The one he's having a battle Well, with. what are you trying to see is by force? Just getting through the uh, crowd? Well, getting to where the the uh, the other band is, because I'm actually in kind of a chaotic mess. Oh, I see. I see what you're saying. Um, sure. Yeah, that'll okay. be a uh, hard roll. Oh, well, okay. I guess the mob is worse than I thought. Well, there it came up. Oh, okay. Oh, yes. All right. Um, well, let's see. This is what it's kind of weird, though. You still get to choose one of these things, even on a miss. It says, which I like. That's one of the things I don't really get like about this. Um, I'm actually, you know, what? I wrote down on a miss. I'm going to make a quick little adaptation to this. That kind of okay. the NBCs get to choose something, uh, or I do. Um, so, uh, all right. So yeah, you're trying to get your way through the crowd, but um, a, a bunch of them uh, pick you up over their head. And kind of, uh, they're now they're kind of, or because some of the crowd they're fighting, and other people are kind of like, uh, just thrashing around like into the music. So they're kind of like, almost like it's a like you're like you did dive into it. They're kind of like pu right. pushing you up and down over their heads. <laughs> <laughs> but they are kind of moving you actually in the right direction still. Okay, yeah, I was gonna say I I I, I did want to get to where I was going, but yeah, you know, I, I, it may t have taken me longer on a weirder route than I intended. You just, just happen to be like riding on pe oh, people's hands over their heads. <laughs> That way. <laughs> all right. So, uh, all right. So you guys, uh, you guys are still playing. You finish your duel. Um, it was pretty. It, I don't know. You both are really awesome. It's hard to tell who did better. Uh, you know, you both are very, very skilled guitarists and musicians. Uh, I would say you both probably have the respect of the other one. Mm -hmm. um, actually, what's I need a name? Who's the alien fuckers? Uh, Lead, uh, lead man. Sid. <laughs> Sid. What is, is it? Sid. 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 Okay, sure. Sid. All right. All right. I uh, um, I try to high five him, unless he punches me in the face. Uh, no, he'll high five you back. Yeah. And after you guys finish, uh, the fighting stops in the crowd. Uh, hmm. they all kind of stare blank eyed for a second. And then they all erupted a huge cheer, and they're all jumping up and now, and they're like, oh, and that was like the greatest thing they ever saw. Awesome. And even though they're all like <laughs> black eyes and they're bleeding, they don't care. Like, they're having a great Boom, cheers, too. <laughs> all right. Uh, and, uh, but uh, now the, the cyber babes kind of, uh, they see uh, uh, you moving towards them, boom. Uh, mm -hmm. And they see this really weird looking guy the crowd like pushing them over their heads towards them uh so they take the fuck off <laughs> <laughs> they do yeah <laughs> oh i all right I, I i i start yelling out medusa says you're on next <laughs> i don't expect them to believe me so you want me to make some kind of roll to yeah, try to roll. seduce or manipulate them yeah you can roll hot all right, go ahead and roll for me, Nate. I've got a negative two. 
All right, I can't wait to see this roll. Um, uh, one. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm assuming they start running faster. Yeah, well, so first off, they yell back, fuck you, you motherfucking piece of shit. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to, to run after them, but give them some space. And I'm going to try to run them to where they're like running out a little ways away from the crowd, like behind the crowd. And as soon as they're by themselves, I'm going to lob off a couple of hand grenades their way. <laughs> well, right, so again, because, because, you, because that roll was very low, uh, I'm going to say they were running much faster. Uh, and they actually uh, get in this old uh, beat up car um, and they take off. All right. There, there, so, are other, there are other vehicles around. Yeah, yeah. Uh, huh. Um, actually, well, now I'm going to say they, they race off a little bit. They do like a 180. Um, and now they're driving right for the stage. as like they're going to try to take the stage out and anybody on it. Oh, they're... Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, so if there's a motorcycle or something around, I'm going to hop on the motorcycle and uh, try to do like a chicken towards them and uh, fire off a couple grenades at them. Okay, they're, um, on the motorcycle there, uh, there's a uh, fairly pretty blonde-haired woman. Yeah. Do you shove her off? Do you just kind of lift her off? Or what do you do, do you ask? <laughs> I look at her, I say, mine. Uh, <laughs> so you're going right, aggro. Yeah, I'll go okay. aggro. All right, so aggro is you gotta you gotta you could say that, but you also gotta make it clear what what are you gonna do what are you gonna do if she doesn't listen to you? Uh yeah, I'm just gonna shove her off the bike if she doesn't listen to me. All right, so roll roll uh, Nate, roll hard for him, please. You did it. Oh, you did it already? Fourteen. <laughs> no, you <Yeah>. did it. <laughs> Oh God, good God! Yes, he did. All right. So, um, yep. All right. So, she, so she takes one look at you. Uh, she actually she she tries to scramble the bike so much she just falls off the bike and starts crawling nice away. Fine. I hop on the bike and start going towards them. Okay. So, oh boy. So uh, this is this is a vehicle thing and something else here, which I've never done before. Um, real quick. Uh... Okay, what, what are the rest of you doing? You can also take actions. <laughs> yeah. uh, originally, Grim was just sort of like tapping his foot and listening to everybody die. And he's like, that's a pretty groovy beat. <laughs> and um, he hears the, the revving of engines and looks off to the side and sees that there's probably going to be some kind of imminent crash because he knows Boom, and Boom doesn't really back down. <laughs> Plus, the other dudes seem pretty crazy. Uh, he'd like to open his mind and see if uh, there's going to be an imminent fiery death very soon. Yeah, if anybody can help me out here. <laughs> so you're you're doing weird. You're opening your mind to the. Yes. And you're trying to figure out what. Wait, Ken. Ken, does that thing have the thing where you can see the future? Does that does that apply? It's, to it's something uh, involving the situation that's basically going to develop soon, or something we didn't know already. Okay, and you got an eight? Yes. So uh, let me go ahead. And you get an impression, then it says, yeah, of, the idea of what's going on. Um, yeah. All right. Uh, so, yeah, you opened your mind. It's all, it's, it's, it's like really crazy colorful again, like you described before. <laughs> Except this time it's fruity pebbles instead of fruit loops. Okay, great. Um, yep. And uh, you see. Uh, you see kind of explosions, things on fire. <laughs> Um, and now, but I, by the way, when you open your brain, I, as the game master, I get to ask you questions sometimes if I so choose. Yes. So also, and I'm interpreting this as something like maybe kind of like weird things or memories are coming through or something like as you open your brain. Um, what, uh, what bad memory does surfaces as you do this? <laughs> Probably the first time he met Boom. <laughs> and he was going on a crazy killing spree, mowing down just whole swaths of raiders. And one immediately blew his arm off before I tilling it up. And he thought, huh, well, I want to help him, but 
he'll probably kill me just like he did to dozens of other people. So I think I'll just leave him here. All right. Um, all right, there we go. All right. So what uh, What about the other guys? Uh, is Cash, Johnny, are you guys doing anything? These guys uh, are like way out there, aren't they? So, I mean, they're, they're not super far away from the stay. I mean, but I mean, they're, uh, I'm trying to think like in distance. Let's say they're maybe about 50 yards or so away. Uh, I'm probably stuck on stage, focused on the audience. It's got a crime. rocket, man. Got a rocket. <laughs> rocket. All right. Rockets. Yeah, because actually the audience is still, man. They're just, ooh, they are just, man, they just think you're the greatest thing ever, man. He's got a rocket. Can yeah, you do actually, any other kind of crazy roles to entrance the audience again? Yeah, sure. I'll do another one. Um, I'm stoked on, like, yeah, the pyrotechnics kicked in. Let's do another one. <laughs> um, bam. All right. Now, you're, you're going to take about another harm for this, right? Oh, shoot. Yeah. All right. right. So you have, so you have free, free boxes checked now, right? Yeah, so, yeah, so, he's getting close. So I won't do any more then. So this is the last one. But it works. <laughs> so I choose... Um, Remember, folks, as he's looking that up, remember, we are playing all day long for uh, part of Roll 20 Con, which help, is to raise money for the Cyber Smile Foundation, which helps victims of cyber bullying. Uh, conveniently, we have a, a group called Bully here that are kind of not so nice guys, and maybe these guys got to get to their feet. Um, but uh, if you can help them out, I just put the link in the live chat, and it's also on our homepage of supergeekedup.com. All right, what do you got? I make the noise that my soul made when the worst happened, and I learned that... <laughs> That are hold on, and I learned that I was still alive and I was not alone. Um, everyone who hear any anyone who hears this uh, are NPCs and form a family. Actually, no, I'm sorry. I make the noise that rever reverberates inside a, a vulture's skull when it scrapes its beak on carrion bone. <laughs> All the NPCs you hear are now form a hunting pack, and I tell them to hunt down bullies and destroy them. <laughs> no. Nice. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, wait. So, the, just so you know, the cyber babes are the ones in the cars right now. Or do you do you want them to go after the other band or the about the car guys? I just I tell them to go after bullies. Oh, just bullies in general. Okay. Yep. Sure. I thought it was the um, the 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 water people. Water the water weavers are, are putting this concert on. One in the cars. Yeah. No, no, no. The water weavers are putting the concert on. They're not. They're yeah, not. Yeah. These are the forerunners. These are the forerunners. I think a techno band. Yeah, this is the cyber oh, babes okay. who are, they are forerunners, yes. They are those scavenger people as well. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're the men dressed oh, okay. up as women, right? <laughs> well, no, I don't know. We didn't say that. We just said they were all male. They could so, be, uh, since, since the car is headed in my oh. general direction, because I was still over by the stage, uh, I'm picking up the biggest rock I can find and throwing it through the windshield at the driver. <laughs> all right, well, first off, uh, as he as he played that other sound music again, the people who were carrying you dropped you on the uh, very unceremoniously onto the ground because <laughs> uh, they were entranced again. And then you get up and you pick get a big old rock, okay, and you're gonna throw it. So I guess this is a hard, right? Yeah, Roll. it'll be. Um, I guess do we want to count it as uh, single combat or? I guess so. Yeah, you're going to have to help me with this hey, maybe about because they're in a vehicle. It, it, that's the best thing I can think for it to fit, although I don't think they're going to hit me with the car. But we'll see. Oh, yeah, that right. works. Ooh, wow, very good. Very good. Um, I'm going to nice. say, this is a common thing, I'm going to say as you throw this, one of them is going to shoot at, at you out the, uh, that makes out the window. That makes sense. Um, Let's see. Uh, all right. So you, oh, well, you can do terrible harm and get one less harm. Did you got? Uh, uh, how much? You, how much damage are you saying this rock does? Is is it a, a one point rock or a two point rock? I'm a big, big guy big, checking big, a big, big rock. rock. Um, we'll figure about the size of someone's head. Okay, I'll say that's a two, two damage, two harm rock. Okay, uh, he will go ahead and. and uh, up that harm by one and take less harm as well. Cool. All right. So you're doing three harm? So right. do three damage, and he's currently at armor four, technically counting that minus armor. Okay. All right. So that guy, um, 
Yeah. Uh, so he, uh, so he, uh, the guy in the passenger uh, seat, uh, shoots out, shoots a pistol out the window, uh, but he winds up just hitting the rock. <laughs> that doesn't look like you much at all. Uh, and then you toss the rock right through the window, and uh, well, he had the window down anyway, actually. So because uh, he was shooting, uh, it it if he smashes him right in the face. Um, and, uh, and he just like he kind of slumps out the window like he's he's out. Nice. Was that the passenger side or the driver's yeah, side? That was the passenger side. Right. Well, can I go ahead and try to shoot a hand grenade in the uh, car with my uh, rocket lo- with my grenade launcher? Absolutely. All right. You want to roll for me, Nate? Sure. That'll be a hard roll. I yeah. believe I have faith. Hard. Come on, um, hard. Yeah. That's pretty hard. Uh, eight. Yes. Yeah, so right, eight's pretty good. Uh, so you got a yeah. choice. You can either you can do extra harm plus one or get suffer one, minus one harm. I'll suffer minus one harm. You know, maybe <laughs> this knocks me off my bike as I'm going. You know, to be able to stop really fast. <laughs> and, well, uh, I should have then have to somersault off the bike. But uh, so the damage. Is four plus one naturally? Whenever I do harm, the grenades are are a damage of four, and it's an area effect. So I'm assuming that blows up the car. All right. What? So, um, what? Can you guys, anybody tell me? Somebody has. A, you have a shotgun, right? What's the base damage on a shotgun? Shotgun is three, and yeah. grenades are four. It does okay. have that written down. All right. And what and what is uh what is your armor? Do you say it's three? Or two two? Uh well my armor is two, two but the effect I want is minus one harm to myself, so three. And no, the grenades it it, are it, it, it subtracts from the harm inflicted. Oh I'm sorry. Right. Okay, so yeah, two. That's okay. I'm sorry. So what's gonna happen is uh one guy uh in the uh I'm gonna say there's like a freaking sunroof. And this car, or at least or this, this part of the car's roof is just missing. So one of the guys right. stands up and he shoots a shotgun at you. Uh, but again, your roll uh, minus one was very helpful. Um, so uh, you're, uh, yeah, he's going to shoot you, but your armor, you got good armor. It's just, you're just going to absorb the blow. So you're not going to get damaged. Uh, and then you're going to launch. Maybe it's the manhole cover. <laughs> just, yeah. Yeah, you're going to launch your grenade. Where, where exactly are you trying to shoot it at? Uh, right in the car, so I guess through the roof where he's, you know, or through the window, something that's open. Okay. So, yep, you lost your grenade. It goes, it actually goes, uh, right through, uh, the guy actually has a really uh, terrible look on his face as he sees the grenade go down right through where he was standing. Um, and then, yeah, then it blows up right inside the car. Uh, this car is an inferno kind of right now. Uh, yeah. They're probably all dead, you're assuming. The car, unfortunately, is still hurtling towards the stage. Ooh. Because you just took out everybody inside the car. Right. All right. Hmm. All right. Anybody going to do anything? I'm going to stage cr- dive out of the way. By the way, the crowd, yeah. the crowd, since you entranced them, has no idea there's a car hurtling towards them. I shout. I warn them. Has, what do you say? Uh, say Pyrotechnics, or, um, the pyrotechnics display seems to have get, gained the life of its own. Everybody out of the way. <laughs> All right. So they and then I dive off to the left. All right. They <laughs> you you can just do, do a uh, dance move and just be like, to the left, to the left, <laughs> everybody, to the left. <laughs> uh, uh, cash, roll cool. All right. Now, uh, what are you doing, uh, Johnny, the quarantine? Um. I was going to shoot at the car, but since it's not, um, since everybody's dead, I'm... <laughs> you could try to take so, a tire out or something, maybe? Uh, yeah, I'll try I'll try and take a tire out, see if I can get it to miss the stage. What kind of um, weapon do you have to do this with? Uh, I have an assault rifle and a 9mm. Which are you using? Rifle. Okay. It's assault rifle. It's three harm, close and far. Uh, uh so yeah. I guess it's still hard, right? Because he's trying to do damage. 
Yeah. Yeah, yeah it'd still be uh, a hard so roll. All right. And then, uh, Grim, are you doing anything? Uh -huh. No, not again. So he just sort of shuffles off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, all right. So, uh, all right. So the car is hurling towards the stage. Um, uh, so yeah. So uh, Johnny, you uh, you shoot shoot at the what, one of the front tires. Is that what you're aiming at? Yeah. Okay. Yep. Yeah, so you uh, you shoot. You actually managed to get uh, the left front tire. You like you managed to pierce it, pierce the tire. Um, that uh, causes the car to kind of veer off course. Um, and it's still though. Uh, so it's not going right towards the center stage, but it does. Uh, it is kind of going towards the very like left part of the stage. Um, Cash, you uh, you leap off the stage just in time. You actually leap over the car. The car actually passes over. You can feel the flames. Yeah. yeah, yeah it, right. it, so the car takes off like the <laughs> stairs that were and then like the left part of the stage that was leading up to the stage there. What um, about the uh, other guitarist? Yeah, uh, does it take he, out the alien fucker? No, nah, he he uh, he had like he had kind of jumped off the other way and that was away from the car the, the stage. All right, makes um, sense. All right, yeah. So you uh, so Cash, you kind of land. Uh, you actually, you know, you rolled very well. You you did actually kind of like cool somersault, and you land on your feet actually. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and then yeah, the car takes off, takes out part of the stage. Part of the stage kind of collapses, uh, and then the car just stops. And now the stage is kind of on fire too. <laughs> That's a good concert. <laughs> this is my yeah, best no, performance I, ever. Everybody's actually <laughs> loving. It. They actually think this is amazing, man. This is like people are yelling like, "Water Palooza rocks!" This is amazing. <laughs> Right. Mongo will make his way over to the flaming car and see if he can pull it away from the stage a little bit with the back bumper. <laughs> uh, oh, hey, guess what? Uh, Mark Spial, who was playing in all our games and GM'd yesterday for us, says, wow, you got a large player group today. Sorry I couldn't join in for some apocalypse from today, but just had to stop in real quick and see the fun. Well, thanks, Mark. Thanks, Mark. <laughs> Everything's getting blown up. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, if you're just joining us, it's the Battle of the Bands in a post-apocalyptic setting where aliens have taken over. Uh, Let's see, so that just leaves uh, the bullies and the alien fuckers, right? Right, so. exactly. All right. Um, all right. Are the bullies anywhere around? Because I know that Cash told them to go after bullies. All right, so... Uh, you don't see uh, the bullies around. Uh, you do see uh, Medusa standing there, kind of looking at the chaos, trying to figure out if this is really good or really bad. <laughs> <laughs> so th this is just a suggestion, Grim, but uh, what would it be like if you went to Medusa and said, isn't it time for the bullies to come out? <laughs> so maybe Medusa can announce the bullies are coming. Where is Medusa right now? Uh, she's standing like kind of right in front of the stage, kind of assessing like I guess the damage and how they're going to continue. Probably. <laughs> so you know, he'll, he'll sort of just punch over and walk up to Medusa and be like, eh. After that performance, I'm not sure how the bullies are going to top it. And, you know, obviously, go ahead and try to implant that into her mind. Like, yeah, they're supposed to go up next. How will they be able to stop that? Are you trying to convince her to get the bullies to come out here or, like, a play right now? Or? <laughs> convince. I mean, or is that what you're trying to implant in her mind? Yes. Jesus Christ, every time you do this roll, what do you have, a 3 Wow, yes! <laughs> Jesus. All right. Um, Grim, maybe get her, get her to announce the bullies or something and see what the audience does. <laughs> she's about to. All right, so she's like, uh, oh, she's like, oh, man, I just had this amazing idea. We should get the bullies out here. That would make this concert really rock. <laughs> and a girl in there. I was thinking the same thing. He's like, all right, thanks, old man. Uh, and <laughs> I 
I'm going to go ahead and motorcycle up, you know, towards the stage again, you know, on the far side, just to be ready to uh, guard Cash. Well, and maybe shoot a bully. Okay. So, um, all right, so she, she heads uh, backstage, and the, um, the, the uh, yeah, after a little while, so then uh, the bullies uh, come out, um, <laughs> And uh, they start. What, what the fuck? Sorry. What kind of music do they do again? Punk rock. Punk rock. That's right. Punk rock. That's right. They're a really rude, crude. Man, right. So they yeah. they come out the stage, and they're like, "Yeah, we're the bullies." <laughs> uh, we're like, like, all you fucks. Like all you guys are fucking uh, alien pieces of shit. We're gonna piss all over you and all over you. Uh, and other crew stuff like that. So <laughs> I, I park the motorcycle and walk up to the closest bully member. Oh, wait, wait, hang on, hang on, sorry. Go ahead. They're, they're, fine. I don't want to take over the action. They're, they're, on, they're on stage. You're not right now. So just um, That's fine. Yeah. The the crowd is booing them, by the way. Yeah. Um there there's also the the, the stage is in flames, but they're still playing through the flames. Um, so, but that is going to make it more difficult for you guys to get to them. Right. Okay. Now you can tell me what you want to do. All right. Well, I just want to march up to the van. Well, just walk onto the stage or jump up onto the stage and take a baseball hat, you know, a baseball swing. At, uh, well, right, first you're going to do that. Band. You're going to have to roll cool to try to, uh, sort of get around the flames. So Nate, can you roll cool for him? Sure. Um, you know what? If, if I'm going to have to roll cool, can I see if there's a rope or something on the side of the stage to swing in? Oh, well, shit. I, I, I no, good news. Whatever, you, whatever you do, is that's all cool regardless. I, yeah, oh, okay. Good news and bad news. Right. The good news is you just earned your fifth XP. The bad yeah. news is you kind of failed at the attempt. All right. Well, uh, that's uh, trip, trip. I don't know if you can see any of these. Fine. Cheat stuff or not, but uh, or well, you could pick something to um, an extra thing, right? He, so you can pick a thing. Now you're saying Nate, right? He earned all his XP. Yes. He is all right. So you, you, you can look that over uh, trip at some point. Yeah. What you want? But let me. All right. So you. Um, so let, uh, let's say yes. There was a rope there. Uh, so you kind of do your best, Tarzan. Uh, right. You swing on the rope, but uh, unfortunately, you just swung all the way right over the top of them and passed them. And oh, okay. Like, and you just landed like uh, kind of on the on the ground on the opposite side of the stage. Could could we say that I see the that I see like the cable, and as I'm swinging on it, I didn't realize that it was part of a uh, of a crane unit that then moved as I had swung, <laughs> and so it just you know throws me out way beyond like you said. Yeah, 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 exactly. And actually, also, okay. also like the flames had kind of gotten to it, and at the end, it singed the wire, so that kind of made you drop off of it. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, fine. But you don't, you don't take any damage or anything. All right. But, yeah, my action's ruined. All right, fine. No problem. <laughs> All right, what are the rest of you guys doing? There, so they're playing their punk rock. It, to you guys, it probably sounds really like, oh, this is terrible. But uh, unless you like that, <laughs> their crude music. <laughs> if it sounds anything like Rancid, it might be all right. <laughs> All right, what are, what are you guys doing? They're just up there playing. Oh, really? Okay. Uh, they, they, they keep saying, like, rude. Their, their lyrics are very, like, insulting and rude. And they yeah. actually even reference Cash uh, and what a, like, a, what a terrible former you are and you like to fuck aliens. <laughs> okay. Well, you know what? <laughs> Uh, Mongo is climbing up the front of the stage. You're also going to have to roll cool. Okay. Let's see. Nice! All right. I got the light here on the hangout, so I don't... What was it? I haven't seen it. Oh, there 11. It is. Okay, very good. All right. Uh, and what are you trying to... Just, are you trying to, like, kind of get up there and get, and get attack them, get in their faces or something, or...? No, he gets up on the stage into the... It, 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 and to, to the lead singer, it, it, you know, he pulls out the machete and uh, going aggro on him, you apologize. <laughs> I, well, 
I'm gonna actually since you I'm only I'm gonna go the other players first since since the cool was one action. Um, but I okay. will say right That's right cool. now that yeah yeah you left up there you actually kind of walked through the flames and for some reason it didn't really seem to bother you too much. <laughs> <laughs> he just comes out smoking a little. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's a, he's a scary motherfucker. All right, Cash, uh, Johnny, Grim, uh, you guys doing anything? All right, do I see Medusa around? Uh, yeah, Medusa. Medusa is, came back. She's back out there watching. Mm -hmm. uh, I uh, I go up to, to Medusa and I try to seduce slash manipulate her into uh, pulling the plug on these guys' performance. <laughs> I tell them that they're being disrespectful, and this isn't, you know, they, they, they fight with words and not fists, and seriously, who does that? <laughs> All right, here, roll, roll hot. All right. Come on. All right, partial success. So on that, it says they'll go along with you, but they need some concrete assurance or some kind of evidence. Hmm. Just right, listen, well, they suck. Yeah, want you say anything else to try to prove your point or to show her anything or uh oh, I just don't have anything. Um I say uh I, I get no, I got nothing. I'm sorry. All right. <laughs> no, no, that's fine. She'll be like she'll kind of listen to you and be like uh she'll be like, Yeah, yeah, but that's the way they are, you know. That people come to see them be crude. Yeah. No, but I the I audience really hate that. them. <laughs> the audience. They're booing them. They don't like them. Well, yeah, but uh, some, so, yeah, they are. But then also other people are kind of into it, and they're kind of headbanging around and stuff. <laughs> All right, John, are you doing anything? Um, All right, John, John's going to ponder, I guess. <laughs> yeah, no, Johnny's watching the show, enjoying the okay. chaos. Okay, cool. I have something oh. that I do want to do with, you know, once everybody's had a chance. Yeah, let me, let me just, I'll go to you one second, Grim. All right. Oh, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> it for me? Oh, Grim, Grim, do you do anything? Grim, yes, yes. <laughs> Suddenly uh, by the way, sorry, in the chat, the Crody says, if she gets seduced, it's her new name, Sedusa, maybe. <laughs> nice. All right, yeah, what is Grim doing, if anything? It's just sort of, like, Trying to figure out, huh, how badly can this go? Okay. All right. So we got a couple people kind of just observing and watching the chaos. All right. Uh, yes. Uh, boom. All right. So, uh, you know, I've, I've landed on the other side of the stage. Uh, if you'll give me some creative license here. I look over. There's, there's a group of, let's say, I don't know, maybe eight to 12 guys that are motorcyclists. And I walk over to them with my baseball bat and I say, <laughs> which of you guys here love cash? And I'm hoping that they'll all say yes. So you go over to a bunch of motorcyclists and you're asking if they love cash? Yeah, well, so maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I do say cash and who here thinks punk rock sucks? Of course, I'm clearly trying to notice whether or not they're like enjoying the punk guys or not. Right, so you're gonna have to do one. Of, you're gonna have to do one of two things. You're either gonna have to do sharp to read them, or do hot to try to, to manipulate them. Okay. Well, so here's a deal, and and I, I I'm trying to work this in, but I should let you know this too. So what I'm choosing to be my improvements because I qualify now yeah. is that I get a gang that I detail. And and I'm the pack alpha. Mm -hmm. Oh, all right, all right. Thank you for so, that. That's I'm just trying things. to figure out a way that I can naturally bring a gang into this. Yeah, okay. Like, all right, good. That, that'll work. Is that okay? All right. Yeah, do, do you, okay. So what? So what I do we say? say do you, are you guys sick and tired of those that bully shit up there? So for for how many are there? Did you say there's like four of them or something or? It five, says or? a gang. So right, I'm gonna, I don't, I don't, I don't, don't want to get this. I don't want it to get out of control. Just to get far. So let's say there's, I don't know. What do you think? Four or five of them, maybe something like that. Sure. Let's say five, five. Okay. That's Motorcyclists. Five. Yeah. Uh, I'll say like, it's, it's a mixture of men and women. Um, All right. I mean, I'll, yeah, yeah. So you'll ask them that and they're like, yeah, the punk rock sucks. This band is the fucking worst. Yeah, it does suck. 
You guys want to see Cash backstage after the show? Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. Cash is our favorite. He rocks. Then let's get those fuckers off the stage, and I'll make sure you get to see Cash. <laughs> all right, yeah. They're like, oh, yeah. They're like, they're all with you. All right, great. So, uh, anyway, so I'm going to try to run and have them on motorcycles and see if we can... I don't know. Get these fuckers off the stage. I saw this. I know I think you had, uh, with the gang thing, or does anybody know, is there certain, like, does he have to do any certain roles to control the gang? I know with the chopper, I think they have to do that, but I saw this is muted right now, looks like, but. Um, oh, okay. I don't know, does it say anything about you and there about how you control the gang or no in your sheet? All it uh, says is I, I get a gang that I detail and it says, and pack alpha. So I'm assuming that I'm the leader of the pack now. All right. So Samus, yeah, what are you saying? Pack alpha, it, pack alpha is a maneuver off of the, char, the chopper thing. That's how they control the gang. Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't uh, Does he have to roll is. something? Uh, well, yes, when you deem that he has to try to rein in the gang. Yeah, like, or you know, to get them to do something cool. specific. What does he roll? What's that? Hard. Uh, I'd have to look at the yeah, hard. Hard. You said? hard. Okay, thank you. All right. So that that's only a certain times maybe where I think the gang is going out of control or something. I guess. All right. Very good. That's cool. All right. Great. So yeah, you have a gang now. All right. Well, I'm going to encourage these guys to run the those guys off stage with their motorcycles. <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, um. All right. So there, uh, let's see here. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, let's go back to a second. Let, let, they, they hop on their motorcycles and they rev them up and they start driving there. Yeah, let's give the other people a chance. Yeah, to let's go to uh, Mongo. You're up. All right, now you can do your aggro thing if you want. Yeah, Mongo comes out of the smoke with the machete in hand and points at the, the, the uh, lead singer, apologize. <laughs> Wait, and what's, what's, Making it clear that he will use the machete if he does not apologize. All right. So, yeah, folks, this is called going aggro. So you got to roll hard. <laughs> yep. All righty. Let's see how this goes. So, come on. <laughs> yeah. What, what is it? Oh, 10? Oh, wow. All right. Yes. So, um... Oh, and he you can do to what apologize. I want or force my hand and suck it up. All right, and you just you told him to apologize, right, the lead singer? Yes. All right. So, uh, yeah, so he uh, he got to take a couple steps back from you. He does not like the look of you at all. Uh, you're very intimidating. Uh, and then uh, they keep playing, though, but the lyrics change to, and he starts singing like, uh, never mind what we said. Cash is really cool. He's the best. He's awesome. We're sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but then they keep playing. <laughs> and Mongo's okay with this. <laughs> <laughs> and I just leveled up. <laughs> nice. Oh, very nice. All right, Cash, are you doing anything else? Or uh, quarantine or anything? That they did they did sing very nice things about you. <laughs> they do? Oh, did you miss it? Maybe you were frozen or something. <laughs> Sorry, did they? I, I know they they sang bad things about me. Did, uh, oh, did Mongo did. change their mind? Yeah, so Mongo <laughs> intimidated them. He said, apologize. So he, the guy changed his lyrics to saying how amazing and cool and awesome you were, and they apologized to you in their lyrics. Yes, the song. Awesome. Oh, yeah. I run out on stage to join them. <laughs> okay. All right. So, yeah, so you're okay. So are you like playing with them now? Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I go up and uh, start doing rhythm guitar. Okay. <laughs> Do I have to get through the fire? Uh, yeah, I guess you should roll cool, yeah, because everybody else has been All right, you know what? Uh, Grim will actually help him through the fire. See where right. he is. How, okay, how are you? Because oh, you can... Oh, you got to roll HX for that, right? Yeah, yeah basically the 2d6 plus whatever my history is with him. What's your history with him? <laughs> oh, wow, it might be necessary. Hold on. Uh, it's plus two. Okay. Okay, so then, uh, it's unfortunate. Oh, wait, wait, a seven is success, correct? Uh, hang on, okay, so he rolled a six yeah, and you yeah, rolled an A, right? You a plus one. You got a plus, oh, so that moves Sims to a seven. Yeah. Although, hang on, how were you helping him, though? I, need, I do need a description. And essentially just, you know, walking up and sort of batting at the, the pyrotechnic flames with his little staff and offering a hand to get him up. <laughs> All right, so, uh, 
Thanks to, uh, yeah, thanks to uh, Grim biting the things away. Uh, you managed to go up on stage. The flame's going to lick at your heels, but nothing really bad happens. So, yeah, you're up on stage now playing with him. <clears throat> All right. So well, now what do, you, what do you want? Uh, sorry, Craig, do you want to do anything before I go back to the motorcycle guys? Um, no, I think, I think my character will be just watching, waiting for – something to kick off when he needs to, you know, protect cash. All right. Very cool. Or By help, folks, or, uh, or help out Grim. So we're playing Apocalypse World right now. If you're joining us, uh, we've got Fate Core coming up at 7 p.m. Eastern. Uh, so we got a little bit more to go in this game. And uh, remember, we're doing this as part of Roll20Con uh, for the charity Cyber Smile, which helps victims of cyberbullying. The link is in the chat and also on our homepage of supergeekedup.com. And you can donate obviously helps out a lot. All right. Back to the action. All, All right. right. So what's your motorcycle gang doing? Well, okay. Now that I see that Cash is up on stage, I hold them up for just a moment, and I say, you know what? Let's just go out there and cheer on Cash. So let's go up on stage in the motorcycles, zoom around them a couple times, screaming, Cash, 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 and then zoom off the stage. <laughs> All right. All right. So, they, yeah, they do that. Uh, and you guys, they're playing and they're zooming around. Wow, the crowd, man, they are going fucking nuts. They are loving this. They, this is so awesome. And, and, and I ride I, I ride behind, you know, uh, the hottest girl in the group. And uh, so I'm staying with the motorcycle gang right now. And we, we stop on the other side and just we're yelling, cash, cash, cash. All right, cool. And then, uh, yeah, so then you know what? They, they You keep playing a little bit and then... Uh, they bring it to a close, and even the people who were booing now they're cheering because oh boy, they really liked to cast joined in. Uh, so uh, they really enjoyed that performance. Everybody's cheering and jumping up and down and yelling Cash's name. Nice. All right, and then the uh, the bullies just go. Uh, actually, well, hang on, sir. Hence the name, right? Because these are kind of rude, crude jerks, right? <laughs> <laughs> they're very crass. Yes. Right. Actually, so okay, since the crowd was cheering Cash's name and not uh -oh. theirs. <laughs> yeah, they they're actually they don't really like that. So they uh they shove Cash off the stage. Oh. Or actually you're only roll me a cool cash. Let me see if they actually do throw, throw you off the stage or not. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh. I, got my, I got my fifth check mark, so I can change something. So you, you can level up. You can gain a new ability or... Yeah. All right. So, uh, so yeah, so the lead, the lead singer comes up, and he just shoves Cash right off the stage. All right. Well, uh, Cash tries to not hurt himself on the way well, down. Well, actually, luckily, the, since the audience loves you so much, they actually catch you. Like oh, thank God. Much, yeah. <laughs> and they're cheering you, and they're, and they're actually... And, act, yeah. By the way, what, what is Cash's sexuality? Uh, he's, uh, mostly into girls, but you know, he's had a few, <laughs> whatever. <laughs> All right. Cool. So, uh, yeah, so actually there's both girls and guys that kind of, uh, fawning over you, maybe kind of grabbing you. <laughs> oh, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so I, I start up, boom, starts up with his gang, you know, tells them all to follow my lead and we start screaming out, holy suck. Bullies suck! Bullies right, suck! The crowd, the crowd joins in. They chant that along, and they start throwing, yeah, like rotten fruit and eggs and shit at the bullies. <laughs> yeah. Um, and are any of you guys joining in throwing shit at them too, or <laughs> what are the rest of you doing? Uh, well, I might throw a grenade, but I'm gonna wait on that one. Uh. Mongo will proceed to throw one of them off the stage. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, I guess that's about hard then, we'll say. Yeah, I, I, I would say probably seize by force. Yeah, yeah, okay. Because I'm taking control of the person. Right, yep, yep, sounds good. Okay. Oh, very good roll. Nice. Okay. Um, all right. And so, folks, I don't know. Like, I know you folks, you may not be getting the updates on the stream here. I see on Craig saying something happened to it supposedly to his internet. I don't know if it really happened or not, but. Yeah, no, it's not updating. Um, uh, but uh, you know what, Craig? You could. Well, that's fine. 
Oh, there it goes. Yeah, okay, yeah, we're still seeing it. Okay, good. great. I'll scroll out. Okay, great. Uh, awesome. Yeah, we're all, we're all good. Great. All right, so you got a 10, right? Yeah, so I am taking definite con and undeniable control of the person. All right, you, you say you're throwing them off stage, right? Throwing them off the stage head first towards <laughs> the ground. Inflicting terrible harm. All right. So I'm going to say, which one are you, the lead singer, the one who pushed Cash, or somebody else? The one who pushed Cash. All right. So you lead, you, you take the lead singer of the bullies. Uh, yeah, you just grab him um, and you freaking fling him really far off stage. Um, he just lands like in a, in a very awkward position. Right. He actually lands right uh, where some other dude was taking a piss, and now he's getting pissed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> How many band members are left? There are three band members left. <laughs> so Grimble I just want to pick. I just want to pick up a big rock close by and throw a big rock at one of the guys. Not trying to kill him, but to damage him, make him get off. We roll so, that for me, Nate. So, by the way, that's a hard roll, I guess. Right? Yeah. And by the way, in the chat, Faux Shot says, I have a feeling we might be seeing more of this game in the future. And McCrory says, LOL, yeah, this game is strange and fun. You got that right. <laughs> <laughs> we actually haven't talked about the possibly working this into our Monday Night Mayhem streams. Which, by the way, folks, if you haven't seen it, we do 8, yeah. 8 p.m. Eastern time every Monday night. We play role-playing games on a weekly basis. Uh, we usually alternate between Dungeons & Dragons 5th Edition and uh, Lady Blackbird, which is a game we played yesterday, actually, which was actually a lot of fun. We had a telepathic cat named Pudding, which we may, nice. I, actually, I actually want to work and do the main campaign because I loved her so much. Oh, man. Uh, oh, so we'll see. But oh, anyway, oh, we, oh. we do other games. There's also special uh, one-shots like Star Trek RPGs we've done on our YouTube, which is super geeked out. Please give us a subscription if you haven't. All right. Well, oh, boy. Look at that. Yeah, Wait, so that's a 12. Him, right? Oh, boy. All right. And we're, so a big rock. We'll say that was a two, right, from before? Two damage. Okay. And then I get a plus one for harm. So that's three. So maybe you I also get, You also get another plus one because you rolled so well. Oh, man. Um, are you going to uh, – okay. So I'm going to say – I wasn't really trying to kill him, but I'm also a big guy, so I don't know. That's right. I, and that doesn't have to be lethal force. Um, yeah. So uh, I'm going to say this guy really didn't have a weapon ready, and he's not really close enough to you because he had his, like, you know – well, which one are you taking? You're taking one of the you guitar, the guitar guys or the drummer? Why, drum. why don't we say that there's a drummer? Yeah, drummer. Perfect. I got and it. And I hit him, and he, you know, he goes flying off the drum So set. you're actually, you threw the rock with such force, it went through, like, the drums and smashed into him. So you ruined his drum set, and you knocked him off through the back curtain off the stage for the back. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. <laughs> Works. And the, other two, the, the, other, the other two band members uh, run off the stage because they're trying to dodge the eggs and the rotten fruit that the crowd is throwing at them. Uh, one of them runs right up towards you, uh, Johnny, and the other one runs towards you, Grim. So what are you guys doing? I, I take a page out of Deadpool's book, I line up the shot, and I boot them in the balls. Nice. Boot them in the ball. You kick them in the balls or you're shooting them in the balls? In the balls. No, 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 kick them. Which one? Kick? Kick. Yep. Okay. Uh, roll hard. And Graham, what are you doing? Nate, are you still sorry there? About, sorry about that. I was on the phone. Um, well, uh, you know what? Uh, <laughs> how many members are left now? Oh, no, so what I said was the two that were left, they ran off to try to avoid the rotten eggs of fruit. One went towards Johnny. The other one's running right towards you. Okay, okay. Um, he'll put on the best surprised face he can. Like, Sonny, over here. Come on. You know? Uh, how does he respond to that? Wait, what are, what are you trying to do? Trying to draw him over here? Just, you know, yeah, you know, hurry him over in this direction. Oh, well, he's already running right towards your direction, actually. Right. Well, he'll be like, uh, here, I got a little hidey hole. Okay. All right. Well, so you, I guess either do hot or weird, I guess, depending if you're trying to manipulate him or use it. <laughs> I mean, if That's he's close enough weird. for you to, like, you know, guide him to safety or oh, something. Actually, no, you have to touch them to do the weird thing, yes. right? Yeah. All right. You got to roll hot then. Okay. Oh, God. This is going to suck. <laughs> <laughs> oh. this is good. Good. <laughs> That's good when you have to roll things you're not as good at. Step into my van, little boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Here goes nothing. <laughs> Ooh. 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 Oh my! <laughs> All right, That's pretty good. So let's see here. Uh, so Craig, do you yes. want to do extra harm to him or take less harm for yourself? 
Um, extra, extra crunching damage to him and his right. nethers. <laughs> yep. All right. So you, um, so you, uh, you deliver a, a really nice kick right to his groin, uh, and he's like, ah, oh, and he just doubles over oh. and collapses, and he's just like on the on the floor and curled up into a ball. And it's good. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And so, Grim, what are you saying to this other, the last member of this, uh, the bullies? Don't worry, Whippersnapper. I'll keep you safe, you know, and just sort of like uh, obviously try and guide him towards the backstage. Now put this ball gag on. <laughs> Here's a piece of candy. Enjoy this sucker. All right. So, yeah, so he follows you to the backstage. Then what, what do you do? All right. All right. So, uh, you know, he'll you know, put his hands on him. All right. Now, don't panic. The worst thing you can do is panic. You know what? In fact, I think the absolute worst thing you can do is go out to the really big fella out there and tell him you don't need your arms. <laughs> By the big fellow, who who are you talking about? Mongo. Okay. <laughs> so he'll essentially try and implant that command into his brain. Oh, you guys are terrible. All right. Uh... <laughs> Thank you. There goes nothing. <clears throat> Ooh, hey, that's pretty oh, good. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I do not need my arms. Now, I, I, I can tell you that he does have the option to absolutely, you know, just flat out refuse, even though he feels compelled to do it. But then I'm able to inflict great harm upon him if he doesn't. Like great kind of like psychic type harm? Oh, yeah. I can. What almost, happens? Yeah. With with the uh, with the three roll, he basically has three hold markers on the person. If they don't do what's been implied, been implanted into them, he can choose to inflict one of those hold tokens as a psychic point of harm that bypasses all armor. All right, so he rolled so high, he gets three holds, basically. Yeah. Right. And, and so it, over the course it, of several rounds, he could basically inflict up to three psychic harm okay. on them if right. they don't follow the orders. Okay. So, uh, I yeah, I'm gonna say uh, he looks at you very strangely and says, uh, "But I need my arms to play uh, guitar." What? Don't you have any vocal talent? And he'll just like, just have almost like a thousand needles pierce his brain all at once. At least that's what it feels like to him. Then he'll let out a very high pitch scream. <laughs> Falsetto. <laughs> now you know his vocal well, you know, talent. He's a soprano. <laughs> uh, and I'll just say well, like, dude. so yeah, you do. I uh, used to do some more of that, and he just kind of he kind of just collapses to the ground, like holding his head and kind of like crying. <laughs> Now, are you going to be a big boy and go out there to learn your true calling as a singer? Uh, he's just like, yeah, he's like muttering about like, ah, oh, yes, I'll take vocal lessons. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, yes, I'll, I'll, I'll be better. I'll stop, I'll stop being such a rude jerk. <laughs> well, I don't know. That kind of aspect actually plays pretty well with your band. So, uh, yeah, if you really want some extra music lessons, go talk to Mongo. He can help you. Okay. All right. So I'm just, we're going to, for right now, we'll just leave him kind of like yeah. on the ground. Um, Bad I'm lady. picturing Mongo with a ukulele. <laughs> That'd be perfect. <laughs> um, all right. So, um, all right, so those guys, pretty much the bullies are, you took those guys out. They're done. Very good job. And actually, the so, crowd out, the crowd seeing that, uh, seeing that, you know, the bullies getting their ass kicked, they were cheering you guys, uh, so they like that. Again, they really, well, they're, they think this is the most exciting concert they've ever been to. <laughs> so, so, me and my gang, we start yelling out, bring back cash! Bring back cash! <laughs> uh, so then, uh, at that point, though, uh, the Alien Fuckers, which if you're just joining us, is the last band we haven't really dealt with yet too much, who play, what was it, boy band pop, did we say? Yes. And Sid is their lead singer, that's right. Although we didn't yeah. serve Sid's point the guitarist, though. 
Uh, he's, quite, he's pretty good. Matches was matching with cash. Uh, so Sid and uh, Sid actually and a trio of girls uh, comes out. Oh, wait, that's not a boy. Okay, it's a boy. Yeah, that's girl not band. a boy band. It's a boy yeah. slash girl band. I'll call it then. All right. Uh, they come out. Or well, yeah, we'll call it two guys and two girls. How about that? I'll make it even. The two. So Sid, give me some other names for the guy the, the other the two girls. Timmy, oh. audience assistance appreciated. Yes. Uh, oh yeah, but Tim, did you say Kitty? Uh, Timmy. No, <laughs> Kitty is good. Do Kitty. 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 Timmy. Timmy. Um, that keeps the cat theme from yesterday. Okay. Yes, yeah, that's a cat theme. Kitty likes cats. Um, Sid, Timmy, Kitty, and we need one more name for Dick a girl. Richards. What was it? Dick Richards. No, I'm not gonna call uh, girl that. <laughs> Lucy. <laughs> Lu Lucy, I love it. Lucy, great. Okay. So we got Sid, <laughs> exactly. Sid, the lead singer, Timmy, Kitty, and Lucy. They are the alien fuckers. All right. All right. So they, uh, they, so they actually, because they haven't got to perform yet, really, except that one kind of solo that uh, Sid got to do. So they run out of the stage, and. Uh, and because the crowd is really fired up, all right, and they're like, "Yeah, Sid's like, yeah, we're gonna fuck you like aliens." <laughs> and so, um, um, Cash gets a big thumb up for that. <laughs> uh, and then they say, though, actually, though, no, we mean that literally. And then they change form, and you see there's some kind of weird alien-human hybrid. Um. And they're like, yeah, we, our name is actually really true. Uh, our parents fucked aliens and we're their children. <laughs> All right. I tell my gang to start going, ew. Oh, oh. And they, they were already doing that. They're pretty grossed out. Uh, right. But they do it even more. <laughs> sure. Uh, and they're, and they're going to say, um, we're taking this contest and we're also gonna uh, suck the life out of all of you and take you back to our alien parents. <laughs> Mongo from the side of the stage, no. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so uh, I go ahead and launch off a couple grenades in the middle of them. <laughs> awesome. All right, so you got to roll, shoot the roll hard, right? Yeah, like, so we go ahead and roll grenades for me onto the stage. Yep. Oh, man. <laughs> Did somebody say explosions? <laughs> <laughs> nice. Success. Th this concert sponsored by Mr. Torg. <laughs> <laughs> so that, that's... I don't know if there's a bonus on that, but that's base four plus one, so that's five. <laughs> uh, okay, wait. So you're it's doing five just on its own, pretty much? Yeah, so so four is, yeah, and then I have the special ability that brings it to five. So it's five right now without anything extra. Okay, and you can, since you rolled so well, you get to do extra harm and take less harm. So six to them, and I'll do one less harm to me if they suddenly shoot uh, alien weapons at me. All right. So let me just, I'm just writing down some stats for them. Uh, all right. So you're doing six damage? Six damage to them, and it is an area effect, so. Yeah. Um, I'm going to. Small area, right. I'm thinking. Yeah, I almost, yeah, wonder, I almost I mean, wonder if that means the main person takes that and the peripheral people take less. Uh, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna maybe interpret it a little bit like that. Um, I just think that's just that's a little too. That's everybody yeah. um, so I take out the lead that's saying all this stuff. So let me uh, let's see here. You um, all right? So you say it's doing six damage, right? Yeah. Okay. So, all right, no, actually, all right. So you shoot it, yeah, you shoot the grenade in there. Um, and it, uh, yeah, it explodes on the stage. 
and it, you actually kind of throw them all off their feet. Um, cool. They're all damaged. None, yeah. of, none of them are totally taken out yet. Um, but uh, you uh, you see Sid put his like fingers to his temple, and you get a psychic attack from him. <laughs> all right. <laughs> what is uh, uh what is, what is your armor? Two. Oh, but this is interesting. And then uh, I'm gonna apply, I know I'm gonna I'm gonna apply armor the same way, even though it doesn't totally make sense. I'm just gonna apply it like well, in the make it a telekinetic attack. Chuck yep. something at it. Oh, that's true. Mm -hmm. That would make sense for armor to apply. Uh, that's true. That could. Although I wanna, uh, I kind of, I still wanna base. Just call like a base damage then, like because I wrote down kind of a base damage for them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, okay, sure. So I'll say, so he, uh, yeah, so they have telekinesis. So, uh, like, the, the door off of the flaming car gets torn off, and it smashes into you. All right. You said, I'm sorry, you said two armor? Two armor, and then so you from take, that attack, I guess I get minus yeah, they're one. Doing, I'm going to say they're doing four, so you take three, so you take one harm. All right. So, Nate, can you mark one box for him, the first box? Sure. I don't think he's taking any harm yet. Oh. All right. So, who wants to go next? Um, I'd ask him, <laughs> Johnny, shoot the guy with his you rifle. Shoot, you want to, all right, you want to shoot him with your rifle? Yeah, I'm still at the side of the stage. Uh, I'll step over the guy I um, crippled. Kick the nuts. Um, yeah, and uh, I'm going to get my. I, I don't think assault rifles have a safety, but just in case, I'll take it off safety and shoot him. All right, go for it. It's a hard roll. Yeah. All right. Eight. Yeah, yeah. All right. Do you want to do, do you want do you want to do extra harm or take less harm? Uh, extra. Mm -hmm. All right. What's what's the base damage for the assault rifle? Three harm. All right. So you're doing four with the extra. All right, and who were you shooting at? Uh, Sid, the guy that was doing the attack. Okay, so I'm sorry. Wait, that's you're doing four harm overall, or you say say, or three? Uh, four harm then if it's yeah, including yeah, okay, the. It. All right. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So all right. Yeah. So you you shoot at Sid, uh, and you hit him, but his kind of hybrid alien body is able to take it a little better than a human could. Um, hmm. And then, now he's gonna go back, attack back at you with his telekinesis. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, let's see, I'm trying to think what's in there. Uh, what's around here? Drum kit. Oh, perfect, great, great idea. Uh, Damn it. Lights. He takes, he takes the, um, the two drumsticks telekinesisly and he slizzes them flying and they jab into your eyes. <laughs> <laughs> wow! Not like poking your eyes out, but they like kind of give you a nice. Better job. than an anal probe. Yeah. All right. Well, so what's your armor? Uh, two, I think. So you yeah, take two. You take two harm. Two harm. Uh, do I mark off the three? You mark off two boxes. Every every harm is one box, actually. Oh. Okay. Yeah, it's like a clock. They do wear like a three o'clock, six o'clock. It's kind of a weird. Yeah. Thing. It's it's the doomsday clock. Yeah. Uh, fun times. How many? What do you got? Six boxes total or something? Is that what you guys got on the on the harm you could take? Something like that. Yeah. All right. All right. So uh, who? Uh, Mongo, do you want to go? I can totally go. Uh, so Mongo will tromp across the stage to the closest one and promptly embed that machete in his chest. <laughs> okay, so go ahead and roll it. All righty. Anyway, if you join us, folks, there are, this has been a battle of band in a post-apocalyptic setting, and they just found out the band Alien Fuckers are actually, their name is very true, because they're a hybrid, uh, they're <laughs> alien, human, they have alien human parents, they're like a hybrid of that. Yeah. Way to go, Mongo. Okay. Did you disarm them? <laughs> uh, right. you're, so you're attacking like the closest one you said? Yes. Right. Uh, yep. Just and uh, double harm. So that brings my harm on that attack to six. 
Is that a special ability you have? Uh, basically, I just picked up the gun luggers not to be screwed with. Nice. In my level up, which makes me count as a mob by myself. Against a single opponent, I am basically plus one armor, plus one damage. All right, so you're saying you're doing six damage? Yep. Three, three base, and then uh, up to four for the not to be messed with, and then two more for the successes. Wow. Well, the success only gives you uh, inflict terrible harm plus one. Oh, it, I, I, you know, I can't remember if you. Well, if you can't take it twice, then I take one less damage. So. Yeah, no. So you, you can do, you can do. The ten gives you both the things, not, not double. It says both, like one harm and minus one harm. So, all right. So is that five then instead of six right. damage? It'll be five instead of six. All right. And you, okay. All right. So you're gonna inflict five. Um, all right, so yeah, you, I'm going to say Timmy's the closest. Uh, you swing out with him, and uh, yeah, you give him a nice slice, and he goes down. Um, he looks okay. probably, he's probably dead. <laughs> Maybe, I don't know. Some kind of like, it's a mixture of like green and red blood is coming out of him. Kind of cocks his head to the side looking at that. <laughs> what was your, uh, what's your armor? Uh... Currently, because of not to be screwed with, uh, my armor is three, and then because of uh, the uh, Rasputin, that brings it up to four, and then uh, minus not, one harm. Uh, he's not hurting you. Um, but what he does do, just for a narrative, he uh, as you were as you were going to attack him, he telekinetically had a, like a tire rip off the car. Uh, and smash it to your head, and you just did not. That, you, that made no difference to you whatsoever. <laughs> uh, well, and that, except and he it, spends a little bit of time looking around for what hit him. Yeah. Right. It hits the back of his head and bounces off. Yeah. <laughs> mm. All right. So we got Sid, Kitty, and Lucy still up there. Uh, the alien fucker is a cash. What are you doing? Uh, I run up onto the stage and uh, try to try to convince Lucy to come backstage with me and, and teach me about her namesakes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you find Lucy attractive? Uh, I'm more about the, the Captain Kirk syndrome of needing to fuck a, an alien. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, you know what? She is actually, she is, actually uh, she is pretty sexy. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay, even better. <laughs> Bucket list. So, yeah, I, I guess I'm going to make a hot check yep. to manipulate her backstage. Yeah. Which I like, but oh, look at that! Nice roll. Yes, keep it looking for that green alien. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um. Okay, so I'm just guess who's kidding. having green eggs and ham tonight? Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> well, there are plenty of eggs on the stage. Okay. All right. So, what do you say to her exactly? Uh, I say. Why don't you ditch this band and come join me? I'm. Uh, you can be part of. You can be. We can change the name of the band to to reflect. You know, Lucy's cash. Let's go backstage and we can talk about an audition. Okay, and you can try to change it to cash and change. Yeah. You're trying to. And you're, are you trying to put the idea that you want to like sleep there? Yeah, I wanna. I wanna sleep with her. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yes. So she 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 looks at her fellow alien hybrids there for a second. And then says, like, uh, hell yeah, I'm yours, baby. And <laughs> yeah. All right, so we run off backstage. <laughs> By the way, folks, I didn't say up top, but this is actually one of those few games where in the roles, sex is actually part of it. Like, each character actually has a thing that happens when they have sex. They have a special sex what? move. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Maybe it's, it's not in the show, but all the main characters, there's a like, special thing that happens if you have sex with a PC. Oh oh my God. God. It, yeah, it's it. Every character has one. Mm -hmm. Yeah, on the first page of the character sheet. Now it doesn't really apply to NPCs; it applies generally <laughs> to PCs. But still, you can certainly have sex with her. That's a big part of the game. That's uh, hilarious. All right, so you're they're going back and doing that. Um, uh, and by the way, as you guys are still fighting, uh, I'm going to say you're going to hear like uh, moans from backstage. <laughs> <laughs> we brought a mic with us. <laughs> oh, right. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're right. She's like, yeah, you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear like, oh yeah, fuck me with your guitar. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll be like, what are these spikes for? 
Whoa. Yeah, and then Cash is like, get the drumstick in my ass. I, I don't know. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right. That escalated. <laughs> yes. It did. It All right. reminds me of my days at Woodstock. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you can remember Woodstock. That's impressive. Uh, I'm amazed you can keep a beat with that thing. Oh, boy. <laughs> All right, so let's go to Grim. What are you, Grim? What are you? What are you doing? We got we got uh, Kitty and Sitter still on stage. <laughs> Sid's been Sid's taken some damage. Well, they've both taken damage. Sid more than Kitty, yes, but they've both taken damage from the uh, grenade for sure. Okay, um, so they're within eyesight, right? Yeah, well, they're right on stage. You're, you're not. I don't. Well, were you still backstage? Did you come back out front from when you took that guy there? I don't know what you did. <laughs> well, <laughs> I, I, you know what? I feel almost so bad for the dude. I, I'll go ahead and just make his brain explode with the remaining hold. Ouch! Oh, wait, are you like killing him? Yeah, you know this is a terrible world anyway. <laughs> so you're mercy killing him. All right. <laughs> Yes. Oh, that was terrible. You're being all nice to him, and now you're killing him. Jeez. <laughs> wow. Grim was a lot nicer when we played It's okay. <laughs> oh, all right. Oh, what a shame. Oh, man. Uh, all right. All right. Well, so there you go. All right. So let's see. Uh, are we back to maybe boom? Sure. So... So I press the button on my uh, on my prosthetic arm to shotgun, and I lead my gang. So I just want to shoot at uh, at the other. Who is it? Is it a poor girl? Well, she's half it's, alien, there, right? There's Kitty, Kitty, and Sid. They're both half alien, half human. All right. Well, I'm gonna take out Sid. And uh, anyway, I basically want to use the same thing that uh, that Somnus did. It's the not to be fucked with. So what I'm wondering too, Somnus, I don't know if you can answer this, but I naturally have small gang and I have a small gang behind me, but would that still just be plus one harm? It, it, Minus. You and your gang are counted separately. Uh, so okay. you, you, are, you count as a small gang. So if you're fighting less than 15 people, you know, if you're yeah. not fighting another gang, you get plus one to your damage and plus one to your armor. Uh, the gang... Okay does the same they they just act as if they have armor or weapons equivalent to whatever it is they have so if they've got right. pistols they're dealing like three damage with the pistol two would be normal plus one if they're fighting not another gang uh and right. they have armor probably one or two all right By the way, well we're figure... going after sid so yeah. go ahead as you figure that out, i forgot to mention folks if you're watching uh evil hat uh productions which makes the fake games which we're playing later today uh, they gave us some prize packs to give out. We gave out one yesterday. Uh, we're going to give out one more today. It's going to be $25. You can buy any other digital products on their site, the Evil Hat site. So uh, we'll give that out uh, some, probably sometime in the, next, the last game, Fake Core, if you're watching. Uh, so uh, stay tuned. Very cool. So should I just should it just be one roll for me and one roll for the gang, and we'll see how they do? Yeah, let me let me start with you, because I also just I want to work the other players in, too. Um, yeah, that's fine. So All start, right. you know, start with you first. And you're shooting their shotgun at Sid? Yeah, shotgun at Sid. Go go for it, Nate. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's see if we can take him out. Oh, I have a bad <laughs> feeling about this one. Uh-oh. Oh, hey, that's 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 it was close. It was close, it was close to being bad. <laughs> All right, do you want to do extra harm or take less harm? Uh, uh, take less harm because the shotgun naturally does three harm plus one, which will be four, so... Uh, so four, and then I'll take one less harm. Oh, so the shotgun's automatically doing four, you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, all right. So, and you take, what is, sorry, what is your armor again? Two? Two, yep. Okay. So, uh, all right. You wrote, so Sid, uh, let's see here. I'm trying to think what else is in the, uh, all right. So Sid takes, like, again, telekinetically, he throws, like, this, uh, flaming wooden board that was strewn around. Uh, knocked right. you upside the head. Uh, you're going to take, usually you would have taken two, but you're only going to take one harm because the minus one. Right. Okay. And then you, uh, so you give him a shotgun blast. Yeah, uh, I'm, right? I'm, 
I, I'm going to do a shotgun blast at his balls. All <laughs> right. He has any. So, uh, well, you're not sure about that, but you shotgun yeah. blast them, and uh, oh yeah, well, he just yells out in pain, and he drops to the ground. Um, and, and, he, and I say, I don't want any alien fuckers fucking me. Very nice. But then, but, but then you hear him yell out before he goes fall the conscious. Oh, you should really try it sometime. <laughs> <laughs> and when he falls unconscious, I say, oh. <laughs> And Grimpa pops up out of nowhere with a sign. Say, <laughs> <laughs> I'm All good. Right. I, got, I got too drunk last night. Sorry, not you guys. <laughs> <laughs> you, can, you can just mute yourself if you got to go talk to someone. <laughs> I'm talking to your kid. That's actually that's actually what Cash says to Lucy as he's fucking her. <laughs> uh, no, my D, my my Sunday night D and D group is uh, organizing in the next room, and they asked me if I wanted a drink. Yeah, uh, okay. I gotcha. <laughs> yeah, we're we're about to wrap up here just a bit, but uh, all right. So th so only uh, Kitty is left. Uh, let's see, Craig. I think maybe you're up next. Okay, because 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 uh, yeah. uh, Cash is still backstage having sex. <laughs> Is he? Yeah. It's been like 30 seconds. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, actually, you actually, you actually heard him like you heard his like uh, climax, and then you, you heard you heard Lucy you say, "Oh, aliens last much longer." <laughs> and then you hear crying. <laughs> <laughs> you could ask if she wants a threesome with cash in the back. With Jot, with who? Well, he is Cash. Oh no, no, no! I'm sorry, but whose turn was it? It was Cash's turn. I thought it was Jot. No, no, no! It's Jotty's turn. Yeah. All right, Craig, Craig, uh, go ahead. Uh, yeah, no, I'm thinking. What's what's Kitty actually doing? Is she attacking people or not? Uh, right now, she's looking all around at her compatriots. Uh, like, they, so, well, Timmy and set her down, and she's by herself. And so she and she's looking back like you can you can always imagine she's wondering if she should have gone back and fucked Cash as well. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> instead of trying to fight you guys, so she's yeah. looking very uh, apprehensive and uh, unsure of herself. Uh, Mongo waves. Yeah, <laughs> this is she'll, she'll kind of give you a very meek wave back. Uh. <laughs> Excellent, because uh, Grim totally comes out from the backstage and it's just like. Oh, well, he wasn't long for this world anyway. And he'll hear the noises from the backstage, see that we're down to just one last alien, and go, huh, you know, the last time I got laid, people were still arguing over whether or not Volkswagen should be legal in the States. Wait, so I was reading something. In the chat, Full Shot had said, what? I don't know what it was to. Maybe it was some of the fucking going on. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, there's sex in this game, folks. But sorry, what did you say about Volkswagens? <laughs> don't worry. Just old rhetoric. Um, he basically, yes. you know, saddles up with his smooth, wrinkly self to the alien. And uh, seeing as how his last weird role earned him his fifth XP, he adopted a new brainer move. Which is unnatural lust transfiction. Oh, oh god. god. Oh, god. <laughs> so what instead of having to roll hot, he gets to roll weird to seduce somebody. Is that yeah. only for is that only for seduction? <laughs> only for seduction. Only, only for seduction. And you get to roll weird. Right. You get to roll weird and so Oh roll. man, I feel, so bad. I feel so bad for Kitty. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Look at all, <laughs> all right, so uh, you know, if I'm not mistaken, your people probed me. It's about time I gave back, sweetie. Ah, come me on. And you. <laughs> oh, That's terrible. <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> exactly. That's what makes it so great. Boom um, throws up a little bit on the stage. <laughs> Boom's just like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm envisioning the creepy old man from Family Guy. Well, it was success. So, <laughs> well, hang on. This is this is counting as a deduction roll. You're just getting to roll weird, right? Is what's yes. happening? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And it still succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, um. 
Describe yourself again, please, to me in the audience. Grim is a no, subscribe. Or... Go ahead, Nate. Go ahead, Nate. Yeah, hold on, Craig. Go ahead, Nate. <laughs> Wait, so am I describing what he looks like? Yeah, I want to know what he looks like. I want to need another visual. Oh, okay. So he obviously sounds like he's 90, but he clearly isn't. Uh, the psychic effects have taken a toll on him, so to speak, both mentally and He's earned some wrinkles, that's for sure. He sports a, <laughs> you know, a pretty almost wizardly beard at this point. Um, it's grayish, not white yet, but getting there. You say it's a uh, salt and pepper, and uh, he stands at about five foot eight. If he wasn't hunched over, which brings him to about five foot six. Okay, what is how is he attractive? Ugly, kind of average, like. Oh, oh no, he's ugly as hell. Oh. He only has <laughs> minus one to hot. <laughs> okay, so he's ugly. He's really he's an ugly fucker, is what you're saying. <laughs> yes. Uh, does he does he still have does his stuff work? That's personal. <laughs> his junk. Yeah. Well, uh, as much of this bravado as he likes to put on, he might be just taking her back to play checkers for all anyone knows. Um, all right. Okay. All right. That's enough. That gives me enough. Thank you. Um, all right. I was trying to get a reason for not to do it, uh, <laughs> which I have if I want to. But all right. So what do you, you're okay? You said that to her. Um, she looks at you, um, and uh, she sizes you up, and then she lustfully jumps on top of you. She tackles you. And right there on the stage, she starts tearing your clothes off. <laughs> <laughs> and that's, I think, where we're going to end it. <laughs> that's a good stopping point. And I don't think anybody wants to And the to camera see closes that. out on Mongo looking very confused. <laughs> <laughs> well, can we decide if Cash won? Can we... Oh, the Battle of the Bands? Sorry, oh, thank you. Yeah, the Battle of the Bands. All right. The water cooler is going to win. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so the last thing that comes out, Medusa... Medusa comes back on stage. Um, she actually she actually sees uh, Lucy, you know, and, and uh, Grim kind of going at her. She's like, "Oh my god!" Uh, <laughs> but then she kind of passes by that and says, and then gets to the mic and says, "All right, that wraps up Water Palooza, um, the best show we've ever done." And everybody cheers in agreement. And she says, "Now we're going to announce the winner." Uh, all right, so the winner of the uh, third annual Water Palooza is Cash. What a surprise! <laughs> now, I do. now dude, so Cash, are you still back there, or you run out now, or what do you do? <laughs> I run out on the stage, pulling my pants up, and say, "I'd like to announce the newest member of Cash and Change." Was it Lucy? Lucy. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Lucy, and uh, right, Lucy. Lucy runs out. She's also. Kind of, she's like putting her shirt over her bra and stuff. And sweet, quick, Lucy, try to hide that look of disappointment. <laughs> I do gunshots in the air and have my gang start shooting in the air too. Yeah, cash. And then as Lucy runs out, she sees Kitty and Grim. She's like, "Kitty, what the hell are you doing?" Uh, and that kind of snaps <laughs> Kitty out of it. And she's like, and she throws up all over your face, Grim. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, and then that's where we're gonna end it. Yeah. <laughs> All right, great. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're muted, by the way, Nate. So I don't know what you're saying. If you're trying to say something, <laughs> I was just making a face. Okay. <laughs> All right, there you Maybe go. You should keep your mouth closed. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's. Right. I'm not gonna. I'm gonna make some jokes. I'm not gonna. Get. Uh, all right, folks. That that's Apocalypse World. Uh, there you go. Uh, so you can see, you can pretty much, uh, that was kind of a zany romp, but there's a whole lot of stuff you can do with this game. <laughs> romp is an understatement. Yeah. <laughs> and, and you can certainly do a, a more serious, hardcore game if you wanted with it. We just tend to lean towards the comedy. Yeah. Yeah. What? This was so uh, serious. It was ridiculous. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, all right. So in the in the chat, uh, the Cronius says, "OMG, OLL." I'm not, it probably is something with Grim. I'm guessing that was just going on. Foshan says, "It's not a proper RPG session unless someone gets laid." All right. <laughs> sure. 
All right, cool. That's, yeah, that is going to wrap us our Apocalypse World game. Uh, so thanks very much. Uh, Somnus, Rob, Craig, uh, Nate, Tripp uh, for playing. Uh, we'll give some links out in a second. But remember, folks, we're going to come back in 30 minutes. Uh, some of these guys will be back uh, for Fate Core uh, from Evil Hat Productions. We're going to play that. We're going to give some pri- a prize out. Uh, so that's at 7 p.m. Eastern. So please tune in back for that. I will have to put a new uh, stream up on the site. Uh, I have to start a new hangout. So just refresh your page if you don't get the new one on superheatup.com when you go back there in about half an hour. Uh, and please, there's another game where we're going to kind of make the world up on the spot. Uh, and this is a game where you can do any world. So uh, you can help us in the chat with that as well. And please remember, Cyber Smile is the charity we're doing this for. I'm putting the link in the chat right now. It's also on there at superheatup.com, uh, helping victims of charity. It's part of World 20 Con. Uh, Rob, thank you for joining us. What don't, any links you want to give out for what you're up to, where people can check you out? Uh, well, they can check out my uh, my YouTube channel at uh, uh, YouTube Facefire Films. Uh, I'm actually in a trainee program in the film industry right now, so I'm not really producing anything for the next few months. But uh, uh, when I do, it will be up there. Here, let me just grab my link. Okay, but, that's uh, Phase yeah. was PH yeah, guys. That's Phase Fire. Ridiculously hard to spell. <laughs> hmm. Awesome, thank you. There, uh, Craig, you're at Craig, at Craig Allen Pool on Twitter, right? I am. Yep, they should find me. He's on there. All right, uh, uh, Nate is Uncle Muffles on various gaming platforms. Yes. Uh, Somnus, you can see every Monday night, either playing or uh, dungeon mastering for us on D and D on Monday Night Mayhem. Uh, and Trip, for League of Steam, is that? Yeah, just check out LeagueofSteam.com or League of Steam on YouTube. All right, awesome. That's a cool, fun stump, uh, steampunk uh, uh, web series he does. Yep. All right, great. Thank you again very much, folks, for watching. We always appreciate you uh, chatting away there. Uh, it was a fun time, and uh, hopefully some of you will see in 30 minutes. All right, keep gaming, everybody. We'll see you soon. Bye.